Put your hands together for the trainers. Maybe when they cut the power, how they reset. We start the we start the I think I think maybe when they cut the power they probably reset the internet. Buenos días, familia. Let's reach out to the I wanted to take a Gatorade, water, and the left hand side of you looking at the baseball field. The baseball field. Custodian to counselor, bus driver to nurses, and center all the staff, and everyone in between. No, there should Your be an extra. Uh, work have not gotten unnoticed. Oh, no. You truly go above the young. We the same nurturing environment. You have played an invaluable role. Oh yeah, which one? We have not played. As their students are put into their classrooms once again, they will be met with a nurturing and supporting environment thanks to your hard work. You have created a space where they will learn, grow, and thrive, surrounded by educators who generally care about their success. What are you looking for? What are you looking for? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm looking for who I need to tell this game. Okay, well, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. RC Audio Sports. These are the PA guys. I don't know. Way during the competition. To our children. Your we can inspire them to dream big, to unleash their potential and achieve greatness. So let's embrace the power of Familia and approach the upcoming year with open hearts and open minds. Let's continue to support one another, uplift one another, and create a place where every student feels valued, heard, and encouraged. Thank you once again for everything you have done and will continue to do. Your hard work and dedication are truly the of our success. I am immensely proud to be part of such an incredible familia. Wishing you all a fantastic school year filled with joy, growth, and endless possibility. Let's make this year one to remember. Hi, I'm from your local insurance agency. So sorry to hear about your accident. Here's a check, sign this. We just signed with Martinez and Associates. <laughs> you know this isn't enough. Sign. Oh! <gasps> Come on, baby. It's a mistake to go against the auto insurance companies all alone. Just like it's a mistake to go against UTSA All-American linebacker Trey Moore. Voted the best law firm in San Antonio for three years running. Hire Martinez and Associates. Introducing a new era in real estate investment. The JLM Real Estate Investment Team offers fast, simple solutions for distressed properties. Perhaps you've inherited a troubled property or you have fallen behind on payments or you don't have time to hassle with repairs. The JLM approach is built on ethics, understanding, and empathy. Jacob and Lisette Martinez Martinez promise you a hassle-free experience. Call them today. When you belong to a place as much as it belongs to you, you call it home. A place to gather, entertain, and make memories near shops, restaurants, and green spaces. 
a place to raise a family and grow. Life is good here and getting better. And at Brooks, we are just getting started. Live Brooks. When you you're gonna see me shine, 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 shine. Walking on beams of light, 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 light. Oh, 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 oh. Do you own property that begs for a solution? Tacho Tovar and GBH Real Estate Solutions is here for that. Any condition, any situation, any location, cash payment. The experts at GBH Real Estate Solutions can handle foundation repair, total interior rough-ins, or any other property need. From start to finish, GBH Real Estate Solutions will be there to make sure the job is done right. Whether the solution is a ground-up project, total renovation, or modernization, Tacho will see it through. Call GBH Real Estate Solutions today. Or visit their Facebook page to see many more examples of their fine work. Tacho is waiting to hear from you. Oh, and did we mention, Tacho buys houses. Hi, I'm from your local insurance agency. So sorry to hear about your accident. Here's a check, sign this. We just signed with Martinez and Associates. <laughs> you know this isn't enough. Sign. Oh! <gasps> Come on, baby. It's a mistake to go against the auto insurance companies all alone. Just like it's a mistake to go against UTSA All-American linebacker Trey Moore. Voted the best law firm in San Antonio three years running. Hire Martinez & Associates. Introducing a new era in real estate investment. The JLM Real Estate Investment Team offers fast, simple solutions for distressed properties. Perhaps you've inherited a troubled property or you have fallen behind on payments or you don't have time to hassle with repairs. The JLM approach is built on ethics, understanding, and empathy. Jacob and Lisette Martinez promise you a hassle-free experience. Call them today. to a place as much as it belongs to you. You call it home. A place to gather, entertain, and make memories near shops, restaurants, and green spaces. A place to raise a family and grow. Life is good here and getting better. And at Brooks, we are just getting started. Live Brooks. you own property that begs for a solution? Tacho Tovar and GBH Real Estate Solutions is here for that. Any condition, any situation, any location, cash payment. The experts at GBH Real Estate Solutions can handle foundation repair, total interior rough-ins, or any other property need. From start to finish, GBH Real Estate Solutions will be there to make sure the job is done right. Whether the solution is a ground-up project, total renovation, or modernization, Tacho will see it through. Call GBH Real Estate Solutions today, or visit their Facebook page to see many more examples of their fine work. Tacho is waiting to hear from you. Oh, and did we mention, Tacho buys houses. Prom 2023 is just around the corner and you want to look your best. At Rex Formal Wear, we've got you covered. Choose from a wide range of styles and sizes and let our expert staff help you find the perfect fit. Don't wait. Come in and reserve your tuxedo today. Visit now and be the talk of the night. You're gonna see me shine, 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 shine. Walking on beams of light, 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 light. The On Par Golf Academy at Mission Del Lago was designed and developed to offer not only the highest quality golf instruction in San Antonio, but so much more. With its experienced staff and its TrackMan indoor and outdoor training facility, On Par Golf has the capability to meet all your golf improvement needs. From its junior golf programming to its entertainment and hosting services, OPG has got you covered. So if you're ready to take your golf game to the next level, 
Come see us at On Park Golf. When you're hit by a motor vehicle, there's nobody that tells you that there's most likely going to be a billion dollar insurance company protecting the driver that just hit you. It's a mistake to play in traffic, just like it's a mistake to go against an auto insurance company all alone. When you get into a car crash, don't fight the billion dollar auto insurance companies alone. If you've been injured in a car crash, call Martinez and Associates today at 210-337-1111. Are you an enthusiastic sports fan? Want to have fun and get in on the action? Heck yes, that'd be awesome. Have great attention to detail? Want to stay active? Definitely. Want to give back to the student athletes in your community? Obviously, yes. Then you'd make an excellent high school sports official. We need more officials in Texas, because with no high school officials, there are no high school sports. Sign up today at highschoolofficials.com. Send a man in motion. They keep it on the ground once again. No, it's an option. Rodriguez to the right side. Inside. Touchdown. Rodriguez out of the shotgun. Throw it. Finds Luke Landa at the Bobcat 30. Rodriguez keeps it up the middle. Inside the 20. Gets away from a defender. Down to the 15. And he's brought down at the 12-yard line. Hernandez, long snap, close in the air, grabbed by Grignick. He's just able to break tackle after tackle after tackle for... Wow. And we welcome you to uh, Burbank High School. It is the SAISD Sports Complex. Coach Robert Villafranca, I am Bobby Mendez. We are joined by Isabella Tellez, Technical Director, Cesar Mendez on the camera, Isaiah Castro, Sebastian Castro. We welcome you to some great high school football on a Thursday night. Two teams red hot in this tough district. 14-5A district matchup between the Burbank Bulldogs and the Harlandale Indians, both teams coming into this game at five and one. Both teams lost to the same team, the number one team that leads this district right now, the Alamo Heights Mules. So this team fighting for second place. We have the Martinez and Associates pregame show coming up. We'll be right back in just a moment. Hi, I'm from your local insurance agency. So sorry to hear about your accident. Here's a check, sign this. We just signed with Martinez and Associates. <laughs> you know this isn't enough. Sign! Oh! <gasps> Come on, baby! It's a mistake to go against the auto insurance companies all alone. Just like it's a mistake to go against UTSA All-American linebacker Trey Moore. Voted the best law firm in San Antonio three years running. Hire Martinez and Associates. And we welcome you back to SAISD Sports Complex. Coach Robert Villafranca, I am Bobby Mendez, and Coach, what a great evening of football here at Burbank High School at the SAISD Sports Complex. Two of the hottest teams in this district going head-to-head -head on this Thursday night. It's the uh, Burbank Bulldogs hosting here at the SAISD Sports Complex, the Harlandale Indians, who have taken the short trip. Uh, you know, in the uh, Harlandale McCullum rivalry, a lot is made of military drive and the uh, boundary that uh, that forms. Division forms a boundary, too. And there's, a, there's a rivalry between Burbank and Harlandale as well. It'll be a good game here tonight. I think you visited with the uh, coaches, uh, did you not? Oh, I sure did. I talked to both coaches, and uh, one of them was a super intense conversation. Uh, the other, just a normal weekly conversation that we have with Coach Albert Torres. But uh, let's talk a little bit about the Harlandale Indians, Coach, as they are coming off a, a loss, their first and only loss of the district season here against the tough Alamo Heights Mules. Played the Alamo Heights Mules uh, tough for uh, two quarters, and then uh, in the uh, third and fourth quarters, the Mules just pulled away. That final score was uh, 60 to 34 in favor of Alamo Heights, and it was the Harlandale Indians' sole loss in a district play. Just like the Burbank Bulldogs have lost one game to the Alamo Heights Mules. This will be a game for the driver's seat of second place. After tonight, only two games remaining in district play. So the uh, 
the uh, seeding, the playoff seeding, the playoff bids, and the playoff seeding starting to take shape. Arlindale and McCullum right behind the Alamo Heights Mules, and uh, tonight is a, is a battle for the driver's seat of the second seed. This uh, season moving fast along, and just like the Harlandale offense, they moved pretty fast as well, Coach, averaging well over 50 points, or right around 50 points a game. Well, you, you mentioned the offenses. We got to say, last week, these two offenses, Bobby, they combined for a total of over 900 offensive yards. Burbank and, and Harlandale together. Burbank uh, uh, last week uh, played uh, Becky, uh, Jefferson, I believe, and Harlandale played Alamo Heights. The uh, Bur Burbank offense, the uh, Harlandale offense together combined over 900 total yards. Well, you're in for a show this afternoon or this evening, I should say. We're going to take one quick break. When we return, we are going to return with the visit with Coach Albert Torres. We'll be back in just a moment. Introducing a new era in real estate investment. The JLM Real Estate Investment Team offers fast, simple solutions for distressed properties. Perhaps you've inherited a troubled property or you have fallen behind on payments or you don't have time to hassle with repairs. The JLM approach is built on ethics, understanding, and empathy. Jacob and Lisette Martinez promise you a hassle-free experience. Call them today. We welcome you back to the Martinez and Associates pregame show, visiting with Coach Albert Torres of the Harlem Indians. Coach Torres, uh, another Thursday night ball game here on a great field. Uh, before we get into tonight's action against the uh, Burbank Bulldogs, talk about last week's game. Uh, talk about some of the positive things coming out of that loss uh, against the Alamo Heights Mules. Well, Alamo Heights, you know, proved out to be that you know pretty damn good you know and so uh when we played them i was i was real proud of our kids the way we, we battled in the first half and and then the way we finished the game though the, the score didn't reflect that but i'm just real proud of our kids tonight doesn't get much easier burbank bulldogs they are red hot the only team that they've lost to the same teams that you lost mm -hmm. to uh what are we what should we expect tonight you know what uh burbank you're right. They're very good. You know, uh, starting with their quarterback Kevin Hernandez on defense. You know, those guys you know, really swarming, swarming the ball. So uh, we got to make sure that that we that we tackle correctly. You know, and and on, on offense. You know, we we, we got to be able to withstand their pressure and, and and the number of different defenses they they run and, and maintain our offense. Talk a little bit about the offense, maybe for some of the Burbank fans that are tuning into this ball game. About their offense? About your offense. Oh, okay, but about our offense. Uh, you know what, we're, we're, we're hurry up, just like they are. Uh, you know, uh, they, they do a great job of shifting. You know, we don't shift as much, but, uh, you know, we, we try to get everything go through the offensive linemen, and if they do well, then, then, then we should do well. Tell us, uh, who are you looking for to stepping up into this ballgame for your Harlandale Dill Indians? You know, really, it, 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 it's everybody, you know, uh, Burbank is, is that quality team that, that it starts with offensive linemen, and, and, and they know that. You know, we tell them every week that they are the reason. Like, you know, they, they, we depend on them. And from there, you know, uh, you know, Jacob being our quarterback uh, puts you know puts us in in, in, the, in the right right position, whether he's uh, giving the ball or, or deciding to throw an RPO. Uh, so, really, it goes it goes through him a lot, and and our offensive line, and as, as well as receivers and running backs. And I'm glad you mentioned the offensive line because I do want to give a lot of credit because, you know, Alamo Heights, such a tough team last week. They really did give Jacob a lot of protection. <laughs> they did a great job, you know. They, they, they really did a good job. And, uh, you know, Jacob also did a good job in being able to extend some plays and we're able to get some some uh, some plays because he was able to extend that. So, uh, yeah, it, it, it's really – I give a lot of love to our offensive line. Well deserved. All right, Coach, uh, good luck this evening. Uh, we'll see you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Go Indians. Coach Albert Torres of the Harlandale Indians. We'll be back with more Martinez and Associates.
That is the Burbank Bulldog Marching Band with the National Anthem. We welcome you back to SAIC Sports Complex. And we just heard from Coach Albert Torres of the Harlandale Indians. Uh, Coach, right before we get to Coach Mole's interview, let's talk a little bit about Burbank Bulldogs as we are approaching kickoff here real quickly. The Burbank Bulldogs, we talked about them coming in red hot. Uh, they are led by their main man, Kevin Hernandez. Kevin Hernandez has uh, led this group to uh, six wins and one loss, uh, a two-win, uh, a two-game win streak uh, for the uh, uh, Burbank Bulldogs, uh, 48 to 13 against McCullum, and then uh, 41 to 13 against Jefferson. So they're putting some points on the board. Uh, last week, uh, Kevin Hernandez and this Burbank uh, Bulldog offense uh, over. Uh, 400 yards of uh, a total offense, so they put on a show. So far, nobody in 14-5A has had a, an answer for him. Let's go to that interview real quickly with Coach Mole before the game. We welcome you back to the Martinez and Associates pregame show. Visiting now with Coach Mole of the Burbank Bulldogs. Coach Mole, talk to us about tonight's big ball game. Two teams coming in with the same identical record, fighting for that second place spot right now. And we're just right now we're just worried about ourselves. We're 0 1 right now in the field right behind our our school, and we're here to defend it tonight. All right, Coach, I noticed you guys You guys get here, you get, get to work right away. I know um, you guys are focused. Uh, tell us what are the, some of the things you're focused on, most importantly. Just us, man, just ourselves, playing our best game. All right, Coach, Coach Mole of the Bur Burbank Bulldogs. Thanks for your time, Coach. Good luck this evening. And we welcome you back to action here as Kevin Hernandez is out onto the field for the Burbank Bulldogs they are getting ready to kick off to the Harlandale Indians. Indians back to receive the kickoff. And coach, we talked to Coach Mole right before the game. Intense. Very <laughs> intense. <laughs> game face. Uh, coach Mole, as always, has got that game face on. He knows how important this game is. And uh, we're happy to bring it to you. This is RC Audio Sports on YouTube. High school football. Uh, here we go. The uh, ball is on the tee. And as Burbank often does from the break of the kickoff huddle. They run to the football and come back out, but uh, Indians set to receive. These Indians are ready, these Bulldogs are ready, and they start off with a kick on the ground, and the Indians will have a decent field position right at their own 47-yard line. And coach, I'm expecting fireworks tonight between these two teams. Well, the uh, right there with the kickoff, uh, the uh, Bulldogs setting the tone. Uh, be ready for anything. Starters, uh, starters for the uh, Harlandale Indians. Wide receivers Isaiah Hernandez and Michael Palomino. Also Joseph Esparza and Roger Dominguez. The uh, line uh, tackles Andres Reyes and Rene Casillas. The guards are Alberto Reyes and uh, Joe Rodriguez, the center, is Nathaniel De Luna. The quarterback, of course, is Jacob Salcedo, the running back, whereas number 21, he's Zion Molina. Jacob Salcedo, 99 of 155, 1,500 yards, 18 touchdowns, four interceptions this season. He is starting out with a five wide receiver set. And here we go, defense ready to go for the Bulldogs. No men in the backfield. Salcedo with a quick pass. Left side, Esparza breaks three tackles. Left side, a sideline, first down and some, and into Burbank territory. Do we see a flag? Joseph Esparza, no flag. Uh, Joseph Esparza, he's hard to bring down. Let's talk about the uh, Burbank Bulldogs uh, real quickly. Defensive lineman, Peter Paralta, Joe Klein, Ryan Vasquez, uh, Lance uh, Trevino, linebackers, Edmundo Chavaria, Ezra Mays. Uh, defensive backs, Aiden Mays, Matthew Reyna, Joe Trejo, Xavier Salazar, Dylan Sandoval. This is a tempo, man. Here we go. First down on the first play for the Harlandale Indians. They're in Bulldog territory. Handoff. Esparza extends, finds the other sideline. He gets knocked out of bounds, and he'll get to about the 28-yard 20, line, perhaps. 27-yard line. Uh, Bobby Joseph Esparza is not the biggest uh, football player in 14-5A, but I can assure you that the Harlandale Indians make sure that he gets his touches. He's going to be a big part of this offense. Nine yards on that carry, so Indians moving the ball in their first two plays. Here comes a third one. Salcedo decides to run, cuts it up, slides inside the 20, 
in picking up a first down for the Indians as the Indians get down inside the red zone. Uh, Bobby, I think that that was a called uh, pass. Uh, quickly, Jacob Salcedo tucks and finds a little finds a little crease in the defensive line, takes it right up the field. He's in the red zone, the Indians first and 10, the Bulldog 20. From the left side, Hash. Indians give the ball, the first carry to Zion Molina. And Molina, Molina will get down to the 18 yard lines, a pickup of two yards. Third rush of the game for the Harlandale Indians, the first conventional handoff to Zion Molina, the offensive line. The offensive uh, line winning the surge there. It's going to be second down and eight from the 18 yard line. Zion joining Jacob Salcedo in the backfield. Out of the shotgun, Salcedo. Play action, pass over to the left side. And he's knocked out of bounds. That is Isaiah Hernandez. And the Indians are on the move, coach. They have picked up another first down on this drive. First down inside the 10 yard line, and that makes it first down and goal. The Indians right on schedule. I don't think they've had a third down yet. I don't believe they have either. That was a nine yard pickup. Uh, check that, a 10 yard pickup down to the eight yard line as the Indians on a first and goal from the eight. Salcedo, right side, pass is caught. That is Roger Dominguez, and Dominguez will get, oh, inside down to the two-yard line, a six-yard pickup. Palomino and Joseph Esparza are doing a great job uh, on the uh, blocks out here on the perimeter. The uh, Harlemville Indian offense, Anson uh, Cornwell, the offensive coordinator, of course, Albert Torres, the play caller. Uh, he likes that swing pass so far. Eighth play of the drive here for the Indians. They started at their own 47. They hiccup on that play as the Indians handed the ball off and Burbank got into the backfield to get Zion Molina for a loss. Big uh, Ryan Vasquez, a junior. He's been a player of the game for us on a previous uh, stream that we've had, a tackle for a loss. The first time that the, uh, that the Indians have suffered a TFL here on this drive. Third down and goal from the six. Zion Molina in the backfield with Salcedo. Esparza in motion. Salcedo tucks it. No. Pass. Complete. Into the end zone. Pass is caught by number 81, Michael Palomino. Patience uh, by Jacob Salcedo. Looked like he might have been able to run it in. It had been contested very near the goal line. But just like a good quarterback does, he keeps his eyes open and downfield. Palomino breaks open. And uh, Jacob delivers a pass. It's a touchdown for the Indians. Six to zero, nine minutes and 34 seconds. The extra point team is on the field. They always line up at that swinging gate to test the defense. And uh, in the kick uh, for the Ardendale Indians, uh, Jose Luis Flores, number 86. Ethan Theus is the holder. It's on the tee. Flores gets it up. It is long enough, seven to zero uh, for the Harlandale Indians. We've got nine minutes and 34 seconds left to play here in the uh, first quarter. You are watching high school football on the RC Audio Sports YouTube channel. Hi, I'm from your local insurance agency. So sorry to hear about your accident. Here's a check. Sign this. We just signed with Martinez and Associates. <laughs> you know this isn't enough. Sign. Oh! <gasps> Woo! Come on, baby! It's a mistake to go against the auto insurance companies all alone. Just like it's a mistake to go against UTSA All-American linebacker Trey Moore. Voted the best law firm in San Antonio three years running. Hire Martinez & Associates. And we welcome you back to SAISD Sports Complex. On the campus of Burbank High School, Coach Robert Biafranca, I am Bobby Mendez. A 50-yard touchdown drive for the Harlandale Indians. It was a three-yard touchdown pass from Jacob Salcedo to Michael Palomino. The extra point was good. The Indians have our first lead of the game. And the kick is deep and into the end zone. Number 87, uh, the kicking duties for the Harlandale Indians, Jose Luis uh, Flores, who just uh, contributed the extra point. And any uh, any special teams coach will tell you, if you can find a kicker to kick it out of the end zone, uh, that's what we like. No return, and uh, the uh, Bulldogs will start this possession at the 25-yard line. We'll give you their offensive lineman lineup after this play. We get a chance. Kevin Hernandez leads this offense for the Bulldogs. Out of the shotgun, rolls right, keeps it. Cuts up the middle, 
and he'll get down to the 30-yard line. Offensive uh, starters for the uh, Burbank Bulldogs, uh, the line, Ryan Rodriguez, uh, Jonathan Marufo, uh, Roger Garcia, Ramsey Chavaria, and Marcos Salas. Uh, this is an up-tempo offense. It's going to take us a couple of snaps to get through the uh, lineup. Hernandez, quick pass, and it is completed at the 30-yard line. Leo Lozano. And speaking of Leo Lozano, he's a wide receiver along with Brene Espinosa, Izzy Zapata, and Henry Tenayuka, the running back, Johnny Alvarado, and the quarterback, of course, junior, Kevin Hernandez. Kevin Hernandez has a man in motion. He gets the football, gets across the 40, and a nice carry there by Rene Espinosa. Arlendale defense is still on the field. JC Fuentes, Ramiro Vasquez, Ignacio Ceja, and Gavin De Luna are the defensive linemen. Check that, that was Izzy Zapata. Play action, rolling right. Hernandez looking downfield, directing his receivers, and he decides to keep it. Picks up the first down and some. The linebacker core for the Indians, and they'll be challenged tonight. Jonathan Perez, Nicholas Rodriguez, Nathaniel Vasquez. The safeties are Luis Quitania, Jackson Garcia, and the corners, Rene Cantu and Robert Acuna. There you have him, the defensive starters. For Nine the yards pick up for Hernandez and the Bulldogs. Hernandez drops back, he's looking left, winds up. The pass is caught to Rene Espinosa, and he's going to get into the end zone on a 49, or excuse me, a 51 yard touchdown pass. Kevin Hernandez, very patient in the backfield. He's got a lot of time. The offensive line are protecting him, is protecting him very, very well. But besides time, Bobby, he's got a lot of space, so he can really look downfield. And uh, this time he found Rene Espinosa on a pat on a uh, post pattern between the hash marks. It was a strike and a touchdown for the Bulldogs. Kevin Hernandez, we talked about him coming into this game. He had 17 passing touchdowns coming into this ball game. Make that number 18. Here's the extra points. It is good, Eduardo Gomez. We're all tied up. We promised you fireworks, and they're already starting bang, here bang, bang. from SAISD Sports Complex. You're watching high school football on RC Audio Sports YouTube. Introducing a new era in real estate investment. The JLM Real Estate Investment Team offers fast, simple solutions for distressed properties. Perhaps you've inherited a troubled property or you have fallen behind on payments or you don't have time to hassle with repairs. The JLM approach is built on ethics, understanding, and empathy. Jacob and Lisette Martinez promise you a hassle-free experience. Call them today. Y'all gonna see me shine, 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 shine. Walking on beams of light. And we're back at SAISD Sports Comp Complex. We promised you fireworks and fireworks indeed. We've seen him. Bobby, I'm uh, doing a little math here. If we continue at this pace, it's going to be 84 to 84 and overtime. So, uh, my goodness, uh, two touchdowns a, in less than four minutes. This is a heavyweight match here between these two teams. It took the Bulldogs only 45 seconds to score on five plays. They went 51 yard on a 51-yard touchdown pass. They traveled 75 yards on that drive. Short kick, fielded uh, up the middle, and the Indians will have it uh, with short field position. Johnny Perez. Jonathan Perez, he's a, he's a, he wears number 34, so he's probably got some pretty good hands, and he thought about taking that upfield. He might have gotten some yardage, but the wise thing to do is just to uh, take it down. Hey, a shout out here to the PA announcer at SAISD Sports Complex. One of our favorite things about uh, this, uh, this complex, Johnny Villanueva. Uh, always here, always bringing uh, electricity to the crowd, and we enjoy being right next door to him. He he invented the fourth quarter stretch here the fourth at, at stretch. SAISD <laughs> Sports Complex. I love it. So the Indians uh, back out on the football field here. They have the football right at midfield at their own 49-yard line. Let's see if the Indians can respond on a play action. Dominguez will get the short little pass, makes a couple of moves get in, into the Bulldog 48-yard line. So a three-yard gain there for the Indians. Nice hustle from Lance Trevino, a defensive end, to come out uh, on the perimeter to make that tackle. It's imperative on these little tunnel screens and swing passes. Uh, it's imperative that uh, it, that uh, the play get up the field. The, def the defensive line has time to pursue it. It's gonna be, that play's gonna be dead in the water. Second down as we see Esparza come to our near side. 
two receivers to even it out for Salcedo. In the pocket, now he's pressured outside, dumps it, gets rid of it, incomplete. Brings up a third down here for the Indians. Ryan Vasquez, he wears number nine, a very animated junior defensive lineman. He, he brought some pressure from the offensive uh, left side. He flushed uh, Jacob Salcedo out of the pocket. Nobody open, he had to throw it away. Uh, second, uh, third down of the night uh, for the uh, Arnoldville Indians. They were able to convert for a touchdown the last time. They had Shall we say big third down here so early in this game for the Harlandale Indians? Just inside Burbank territory. South Salo, cool in the pocket, fires! Pass is caught, Dominguez across the middle, and he is brought down at the 32-yard line. Oh boy, he took a shot uh, um, after uh, the catch there, but he uh, he was focused and he uh, caught it on first touch right between the hash marks. You know you're always gonna get some defense in there. Roger Dominguez brought it in, big third down as you said, moved the chains for the Indians there at the 32-yard line, first and 10. 16-yard pickup there for the Indians, and most importantly, we talked about that being a big third down, the Indians converted coach and now have a new set of downs and inside the 35 yard line indians on the ground the end around to esparza esparza down to the 20 yard line a 12 yard pickup for the indians joseph esparza i love the courage with which he runs uh, he finds a little bit of a gap and he's not afraid to go north and south that play was a uh, a little bit more of a lateral play, maybe get around the end. He found a crack in the uh, defense before he got there, just turned it up, first down, Indians. We are in the first quarter here, and we talked about these offenses coming in, and that's all we've seen is offense. The handoff up to Zion Molina, and he'll get down to the 15-yard line. I think we've only seen one play between these two teams go for a negative, and they've only lost one yard just in the series before. That's correct. Uh, Zion uh, Molina was tackled for loss on the uh, previous possession. Zion Molina's the thunder. Uh, Joseph Esparza, if you will, the lightning in this uh, Harlan Indians offense. And then uh, Jacob Salcedo with a drizzle when he lets it rain over there. Right side, the pass is caught to Dominguez inside the 10. And down to the eight yard line, another first down. This would be the third first down on this drive here for the Harlandale Indians. Roger Dominguez, not usually uh, a main target uh, for uh, Jacob Salcedo, uh, but he's been one tonight and uh, uh, first touch catches, man. He gets a ball, he's it's in his hands and he's got it. He's moving upfield. Roger Dominguez, a multi-sport athlete. You'll also see him on the basketball court. Salcedo has Zion to his right side. Dominguez and Palomino on the right. Salcedo spins, he gets caught from behind and he goes down. He'll go down at the 18 yard line. And uh, uh, looked like uh, Jacob had uh, been given enough time to look downfield, but I'm gonna bring back the point that I made earlier, Bobby, about space. He did not have the space. And uh, once you get crowded back there in the pocket, it's a little bit tougher uh, to, make, uh, to make a call, I mean, to make a, you know, determine who you're, who you're, you're going to throw the ball to. So a, t a second tackle for a loss uh, for the Indians, a sack for the uh, Burbank Bulldogs. Sack, and they'll put the Indians at the Burbank 15. Salcedo still cool, fires down the middle. The umpire had a duck for that one, uh, and that's an incomplete pass. He was looking for Roger Dominguez. Uh, a duck, I'm not sure it's exactly the word here. I mean, he hit the ground. Uh, he, that was, uh, he was on the ground there to avoid the pass. Very low, Roger Dominguez uh, had to go down, was not able to, was not able to uh, hold on to that football, uh, but that pass was only about a foot over the turf. They're down in goal with the ball at the 15 yard line. Another big third down on this drive here for the Indians. Trips to the top, one receiver down low, the pass to Dominguez is caught and he gets down to the one. It was a battle at the goal line and the uh, Burbank Bulldog defender uh, won that battle, uh, denied uh, Roger Dominguez the end zone. So we got a big fourth and one uh, coming here. I don't know that this game is gonna be won by field goals. It's hard to pass on three points if it's there on the table for you. Big uh, call here for the Harlandale Indians and uh, Albert Torres there on the sideline. Tough, tough decision here. The Dominguez Dan Parker says three, but now it says four. Yes, four fourth down. down. The ball spotted at the two yard line. Uh, I don't know. Looks like the markers at the two. Hard to tell from here. It says at the one. Big fourth down coming up for the Indians. Time. Oh no, penalty oh, against man. the Indians. So that's gonna. 
push them back another five. Coach, I know I've heard you talk about, hey, maybe that's okay because that gives you a little bit more room to run another not kind of play. Not on fourth down. Not, not on, on fourth, fourth down. down. Yeah, if, that, if it was second down or third down, I'd say it's not that big of a penalty. But fourth and one is a lot different from fourth and six, and it's just a, it's a, it's a different decision here. Uh, if it was, uh, you know, if you needed that touchdown late in the game and you knew you had to go for that six, yeah, I'd rather have the space. But uh, I, uh, given a choice here, I'd much rather have fourth and one than fourth and six. It doesn't look like that's going to alter the decision there on the uh, uh, on the uh, Harlandale Indian Brain Trust. They're going to keep the offense on the field, and the uh, play clock is winding down. I'm not sure if they're going to be able to get this one off. It's already down to 10, and they're just now breaking the huddle, so they're going to have to go in a hurry or call a timeout. Down to the eight-yard line. Here come the Indians. Salcedo, plenty of room, rolling right side, tries to force it in. He gets it. The pass is caught at the end, at the corner of the end of the end zone. I can't see who's. I'm looking for a number myself too, Bobby. I'm gonna have to rely on Joe Anthony here, our public address announcer. What a play, though, Coach. I thought Salcedo was gonna just run it in. He had plenty of room, but he took the risk and he threw it, and the risk. Had reward. I'm going to get a, out ahead of the uh, PA announcer. Looks, look, looks like number 88, Isaiah Hernandez, over there in the corner, uh, was at the end of the uh, Jacob Salcedo pass. Flores in there to kick the extra point. It's good. And it is good. So the Harlem Indians convert on a fourth and six. Huge. It's a touchdown. Huge conversion there for the Indians. You're watching a great high school football game. We knew it would be. RC Audio Sports will be right back. Get ready. Grab it, grab it, let's go. Come on, Victor. Right. Hold it, And we welcome you back to you Burbank High School, SAISD Sports Complex. 11 plays, 51 yards for the Harlandale Indians on that eight yard touchdown pass from Salcedo to number 88, Isaiah Hernandez. And Bobby, uh, a great, uh, it was a great drive for the Indians. And uh, one of the things that, uh, what, that they're gonna point to is uh, they look back to that second drive as they converted on third down twice, converted on fourth down once for the touchdown. And uh, the uh, Burbank Bulldogs defense still to have an answer for the offense. This is gonna be about possession efficiency. It's gonna be, it's gonna be very tough to have an inning where you don't score. And uh, the, the Burbank Bulldogs behind now in, on offense. They keep it on the ground. It's a run by Izzy Zapata, and you talked about possession. The Indians held that ball for three and a half minutes on that pre previous drive. Time of possession, not sure it's, it's gonna be that big of a deal here tonight. This is some quick striking offenses. More of a deal is gonna be uh, the percentage of times that you score uh, of, of your possessions in which you score. Hernandez rolls right side, keeping it himself. Believe he's gonna get across the first down marker so John move the chains over to the 37 yard line Johnny Alvarado out there on the perimeter uh, occupying Nico Rodriguez one of the uh, one of the uh, leading tacklers for the Harlandale Indians and uh, all you got to do is just occupy a linebacker Kevin Hernandez will take advantage of that here come the chains a little bit late it's first and ten uh, Burbank doesn't have to wait for him Hernandez gets the pass to Rene Espinosa right away he crosses the 40 and gets to, oh, we'll say about the 43 yard line. So more positive yardage here for the Bur Burbank Bulldogs as they move along. Uh, the Burbank Bulldogs uh, taking advantage here of a uh, three on two set and uh, the uh, Indians adjusting to that now. Pump fake. Oh boy, Hernandez, he's being pressured and he's gonna go down big, five, four. Julio Martinez with a big sack. A uh, little bit of a pump fake. Uh, it, it's very much like play action when you do that. So the uh, the receivers uh, need a little bit more time to get into their routes. The offensive line has to hold the uh, pressure back a little bit. This time they did in 54. Julio Martinez was there for a sack. Loss of eight yards. Hernandez looking to make those up. The pass incomplete. He was looking for Leo Lozano, but the pressure was coming, coach. 
and Hernandez was hurried. Uh, Nico Rodriguez was there, and he was a little bit of uh, he was in a little bit of no man's land, but he did get to Kevin Hernandez after the pass. Kevin Hernandez looks up to the white hat and said, "Hey, wasn't that a little bit late?" The uh, white hat says, "No." So uh, fourth down and 15, the uh, Bulldogs will have to punt it. Got a timeout on the field. They had 12 men on the field. They're going to have to take this timeout. Uh, it, we're going to take it with them. You're watching high school football on the RC Audio Sports YouTube channel. Introducing a new era in real estate investment. The JLM Real Estate Investment Team offers fast, simple solutions for distressed properties. Perhaps you've inherited a troubled property or you have fallen behind on payments or you don't have time to hassle with repairs. The JLM approach is built on ethics, understanding, and empathy. Jacob and Lisette Martinez promise you a hassle-free experience. Call them today. And we welcome you back to SAISD Sports Complex. We are on the campus of Burbank High School. Of course, we promised uh, fireworks, and uh, it's been fireworks. This is a, I was, I'm surprised to see a stop so far. And all the pageantry that comes with uh, with high school football. Uh, we've got a camera there on the uh, Burbank Bulldogs uh, uh, dance team and cheer squad and their band. And our, the way we're positioned across is the Harlandale band and the uh, Harlandale uh, cheer squad. Uh, boy, what an atmosphere. It's just electric. And uh, you're exactly right. The Harlandale Indians coming up with a big stop here in, uh, on the uh, Bulldogs' second possession. Uh, the uh, uh, Bulldogs will have to punt this away. Back to receive are the Indians. Sort of back to receive. Hernandez kicks it high, and it will take a Bulldog bounce, and then will take an Indian bounce. So the Indians will get the ball at their own 26 with 3.01 to go here in this first quarter. Both uh, their, uh, both uh, uh, the uh, Harlemville Indian scoring drive started from around midfield, so the Indians will have a little further to go to uh, turn this one into uh, a score. But uh, again, as I said, uh, by sort of uh, back to return the punt, it's a hybrid situation. Kevin Hernandez is the uh, punter. You can never give up a defender as your return man. You've got to have 11 guys playing defense. So Joseph uh, Esparza kind of in the middle, playing the deep safety, but also playing the return man. And uh, it's, hard to, it's, hard to, it's hard to defend a punt when you've got Kevin Hernandez punting the ball. Indians have that same threat with Jacob Salcedo punting as well sometimes. And the handoff to Zion Molina, and he gets stuck with a big hit uh, from the Bulldog defense. That's a good tackle. That was a good tackle, and I'm going to give credit to uh, Joe Klein, uh, a, a senior defensive lineman. Joe Klein has also been one of our defensive players of the game, Martinez and Associates uh, players of the game. He's a tackler. Two yard pickup there for the Indians. Zion Molina, low snap, quick pass. Nobody and that, that's incomplete and you know that you wanna, the low snap kind of messes the timing of those routes. Right, uh, but neither one of those receivers was looking back, and they both thought they had blocking assignments, so Jacob Sosella threw that ball out there, and nobody was ready to receive it. But you are exactly right. You get that low snap, and you don't get that. Uh, you don't get the timing route, but if you don't have anybody looking back at you, you also don't have a receiver. 14-7 our score. The Indians on top so far. Salcedo with two receivers to each side. He's dropping back. He's looking downfield. Plenty of time in the pocket. Now he's going to be forced out. And he's forced to get rid of the football. The pass is incomplete. So that's going to bring up a fourth down now for the Harlandale Indians. They kept Jacob Salcedo in the pocket. And uh, the routes were outside the hash mark. So nobody really made themselves available in the middle of the field uh, for uh, Jacob. So by the time he left, uh, by the time he left the pocket, he didn't have anybody to throw to. Uh, wise not to take the sack there and uh, go ahead and punt it uh, from the 27-yard uh, line. Jose Luis uh, Flores is the punter here. It's uh, a tight punt situation. He's got three uh, up backs with him. Here's the punt. It will land. Nice little bounce inside Burbank uh, territory. And uh, punter number 87. Jose Luis. Jose Luis Flores. And uh, interesting to note here, Bobby, for the uh, Burbank Bulldogs, the return man is Kevin Hernandez. He, he, so you, so you he's, talk, uh, he's the punter also. He's the punter. He's the return man. He's the uh, quarterback. quarterback uh -huh. And, uh, you know, my, Coach Michael Moe is uh, going to get the ball in his hands in any way that he can. 
2.04 in this first quarter. From their own 34 yard line, here come the Bulldogs. Hernandez goes nowhere. He's wrapped up maybe uh, half a yard. They're giving him some pro some forward progress, so not a tackle for loss, but I want to come back to Kevin Hernandez when we have a, t when we have a minute and Coach Mull getting the ball in his hands. Earlier in the season, they experimented with, uh, uh, with Kevin Hernandez as a wide out and a ball carrier. Four receivers set to our near side. They stack receivers and now they send a man in motion. Hernandez looking right, scrambling, looking downfield, hurls it, pass. Oh, is it incomplete? He was incomplete. looking for his receiver, Leo Lozano. Pre uh, uh, credit to Jackson Garcia, who was uh, behind the receiver, but uh, on contact, he pulled him back and made it tough to uh, catch the ball, and the uh, ball came out of his hands incomplete. So uh, Jackson, maybe not in the best position that you want to be in as a defensive back, but he still affected the play with his cover. Earlier in, the, uh, earlier in the season, Roman Garcia, a freshman, was playing some quarterback, and uh, Kevin Hernandez was uh, uh, playing a wideout and a running back, so Coach Mullet's done different things. Four receivers to our near side, and that's where Hernandez rolls to. Now he switches it up, gets rid of it, throws downfield, passes incomplete, and he was looking for Izzy Zapata, and the Indians' defense again coming up big and making a stop on third down, Coach. Back-to-back -back stops for the uh, Harlandale Indians, and uh, Kevin Hernandez again rolling to his left, not seeing anything. He finds uh, a way to roll back to his right, but he found a, he, 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 he met a lot of Indian rushers on that play. Here comes the punt. I think it might have been tapped, but uh, the pressure was coming, picked up by Esparza. Esparza decided to run it, and I don't think the Bulldogs were expecting him to, so he was able to get a couple of yards after the pickup. Uh, I'm going to call that a decoy, a little bit of a deke by uh, Joseph Esparza. He looked like he was just going to let the ball roll and uh, high risk play, but uh, also a little bit of a reward on that too. The I think the uh, Burbank uh, Bulldogs uh, return team kind of let their guard down just a little bit. Joseph Esparza took that an extra 10 or 12 yards, so the uh, Indians again will start a drive uh, near midfield. So they're at their own 45 to be exact. As the Indians offense comes back out of the field, they were forced to a three and out the last trip they made onto the field, but Salcedo gets his troops ready to go. Salcedo out of the shotgun, gets a chance to look left, looks in the middle, the pass is incomplete. He was looking for Esparza. <laughs> Burbank fans want some kind of call. I'm not sure what it is but the play, uh, pass is incomplete. Uh, one of the things I want to note here on the uh, Burbank uh, front four, you know, they're getting pressure on Jacob Sosedo rushing forward. At that time, they were all in his lap. Not a single linebacker went in to, to stunt. So you're talking, if you get into Jacob Sosedo with four rushers and you're able to cover seven, uh, it can be a long night uh, for you. It's going to be interesting to see how Sosedo does respond to that or how he reacts. Does he tuck it and run? Next time, let's see what Salcedo does. He keeps it cool. Screen out of the backfield over to Zion Molina, who nears the first down marker, but not, not, not going to get it. Uh, it'll be third down and short, and this time they, uh, at this time Jacob Salcedo che checks down to uh, uh, Zion Molina on a little bit of a swing pass and a, a nice adjustment uh, for the Indians, where they were using uh, Jacob uh, to protect uh, Jacob. Uh, to, they were using Zion to protect uh, Jacob. This time they put him out on a swing pass and let Jacob uh, uh, check down to a swing pass. Third down and short here for the Indians. A five wide receiver set. He looks left, checks right. And Esparza is going to get caught. Usually he's able to escape those. Not this time. A loss of a yard there for the Indians. So coming into the game, Bobby, we talked a lot about the offense, and we hyped up the offenses for both these squads. But back-to-back -back stops for the Harlandale Indian defense, back-to-back -back stops for the Burbank Bulldog defense. And, I'm, and I may be ahead of myself here. It's fourth down and short, and I'm not sure that it the is. Indians are going to punt this away. The uh, clock is winding down. We've uh, just completed the first quarter of play. We'll take a quick break. We'll be back in just a moment. Hi, I'm from your local insurance agency. So sorry to hear about your accident. Here's a check. Sign this. We just signed with Martinez and Associates. <laughs> you know this isn't enough. Sign. Oh! <gasps> Come on, baby. 
It's a mistake to go against the auto insurance companies all alone. Just like it's a mistake to go against UTSA All-American linebacker Trey Moore. Voted the best law firm in San Antonio three years running. Hire Martinez and Associates. Y'all gonna see me shine, 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 shine. Walking on beams of light, 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 light. Oh, 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 oh. Here we go, it's a fourth and short. Salcedo with the five wide set, he's gonna punt it. We talked about that with Kevin Hernandez, coach. The ability to make those kinds of uh, adjustments and the trust that the coach gives that athlete to make that determination, you're out there to either throw or punt the ball away. If uh, something avails itself and someone's not covered, uh, uh, Jacob has a green light to throw the ball, but if it doesn't look like it's going to, if, uh, if no one avails himself as, a, as an open receiver, then you can punt it. And what that does, again, is that the uh, defense or the return team can't put a man back. you got to have all 11 up here playing defense, so you pretty much just concede the return and uh, give the punt team a chance to down the ball like the Indians just did inside the 10-yard line. So at the 9, the Burbank Bulldogs will come out with a five-wide receiver set of their own. They send a man in motion. Hernandez will tuck it and run. He's being chased. Good defense there. I think that was Nico Rodriguez. It sure was, Coach. Nico Rodriguez, he was helped by Jackson Garcia coming in from the uh, safety spot to, to help there. Kevin Hernandez, a little bit of a you know a dip and a juke. And uh, Jacob, I mean, uh, Nicholas uh, uh, Rodriguez did a good job of staying with him. Also, Jackson Garcia pushing that. One yard gain there for the Bulldogs. Hernandez, quick pass left side, connected with Izzy Zapata. Sabata gets down to the, oh, I think that's the 12-yard line, so a two-yard pickup. A 17-yard line, Bob, uh, make that oh, a seven-yard pickup. There you go, third down and one. Thank you uh, for that, Coach. And a, a pump fake one way, and he brings it back the other way, trying to take advantage of the Indians' quick re re reacting defense. Burbank is fast on the football. They don't huddle. They sprint to the line of scrimmage. They stack two receivers to our near side and two to the far side. Hernandez tucks it, runs, brought down. Maybe a yard down to the 19-yard line. The uh, uh, so the linesman signaling a fourth down, and he's going to be short. Oh. We've got a timeout on the field, an official's timeout, as uh, Kevin Hernandez oh, is going to be tended to. Well, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. You're watching High School Football on RC Audio Sports. La familia no es una cosa importante. Es todo. At SAISD, family is practicing and making art. It's fulfilling your duty with honor. It's playing to win and changing lives through learning. Familia is getting you ready for college or getting you ready for your career. And at SAISD, the founding school district in the Alamo City, Familia is not an important thing. It's everything. And it's available to any student, no matter where they live. So come join our familia. Now enroll. Log on to saisd.net forward slash enroll for more information or call 210-554-2660. We we'll welcome you back to uh, SAISD Sports Complex. The uh, Burbank Bulldogs are fourth down and Kevin Hernandez came off the field. We expect to see him back here shortly. And the Bulldogs will dive and jump over the pile to pick up a first down and get to the 21 yard line. Freshman uh, number 15, Roman Garcia steps in at quarterback and a big play on fourth and one from inside your own 20. The uh, Burbank Bulldogs convert on that, bookmark that play, Bobby. That's a big one. Roman Garcia is only a freshman. He's gonna be in at least uh, while uh, Kevin Hernandez gets tended to just a little bit on the sidelines. He did leave the field on his own accord. So expect him to be back. Roman Garcia is not his first rodeo. He's been there before. So Roman Garcia, he's got a five wide receiver set. He's firing the pass is caught to Renee Espinosa. And the 
Burbank Bulldogs do not skip a beat. They get to the 35-yard line. Coach Bull of full confidence in that uh, freshman quarterback. That playbook doesn't al get altered one bit when Roman is in there. 15-yard pickup for the Bulldogs. They keep it on the ground. And great running there by Izzy Zapata. It looked like he was going to go down beyond the line of, behind the line of scrimmage, but instead picks up two yards. And here comes Kevin Hernandez, Roman Garcia, a, a high five uh, for Kevin. And a great a job of spotting uh, the uh, star quarterback there for uh, Roman Garcia. I guarantee you that Roman's got a future ahead of him, a bright future. Indeed. He looks like a quarterback in the making. Hernandez sends a man in motion. Passing downfield, the pass is caught. Leo Lozano, no one near. And he gets into the end zone on a 63-yard connection between Hernandez and Lozano. Nobody there. Uh, Lozano lined up in a tight slot, a tight end spot, and releases from the line of scrimmage. Nobody on the Indian defense assigned to him. Wide open at the hash mark. Kevin Hernandez delivers touchdown, Burbank. Kevin Hernandez, coach, coming off of the play with a little bit of a, an injury there, but back in, first play back, delivers a strike to Lozano. The extra point attempt is good. And now we're tied up with 8.43 to go here in this second quarter. We promise you a good one. It's been a good one. You're watching High School Football on RC Audio Sports YouTube. When you belong to a place as much as it belongs to you, you call it home. A place to gather, entertain, and make memories near shops, restaurants, and green spaces. A place to raise a family and grow. Life is good here and getting better. And at Brooks, we are just getting started. Live Brooks. We welcome you back to SAISD Sports Complex as the... A nine-play a nine drive took, uh, beg your pardon, a seven-play drive uh, took three minutes and seven uh, seconds, 91-yard drive, and a big, remember, a fourth down is short inside their own 20. Coach Mull goes for it, even with the Kevin Hernandez injury. Roman Garcia comes through, and they extend the drive. Kevin Hernandez comes back to throw. Nothing wrong with the arm. And uh, Leo Lozano at the end of his pass, a 63-yard touchdown pass. They were at their own 18-yard line, Coach, when they decided to go for it on fourth and one. Big risk, high reward. This is the first time the Bulldogs kick it deep. Esparza gets grabbed on the jersey and he's finally handled by Leo Lozano, who brings him down. Joseph Esparza, again, just as he does uh, after a catch, he uh, brings that uh, kickoff return back with a lot of courage and he's not gonna go down easily. He, you're, not, you're not gonna convince him to come down unless uh, You've got a lot of uh, orange jerseys on him. Joseph Espar is a big part of uh, this Harlem Indians offense, a big part of their special teams. Well, we've had uh, 28 points so far in this first half. Both teams scoring, both teams proving they've got great defenses. Impressed, as always, by the play of Kevin Hernandez. Jacob Salcedo has moves of his own. I'm sure to see, we'll see more of him here as he sits in the pocket with time. Flings it. Deep pass is caught. No, Palomino couldn't hang on to the football. Incomplete pass. Boy, but what a fling it was by Salcedo. Second down, play action, pass is caught, Isaiah Hernandez. Ball get moved to the 45 yard line, a six yard gain now for the Indians. Chris Silva, reminiscing of the old uniforms. 
from back in the early 80s to the mid 80s on our YouTube chat. We'll get into that a little bit later. Play action, Salcedo stepping up. He's gonna take it, slides, wisely slides. He already pitted the first down and got right down to the 50. So a five yard pickup for Salcedo. More importantly, coach, a new set of downs for the Indians. He needed the uh, he needed the 49 uh, for a first down. He got the 50, and uh, the Indians, after taking a shot uh, downfield on first down, uh, another third down conversion for the uh, Harlandale offense. Salcedo out of the shotgun, gives the ball over to Zion. Zion hits, spins, gets down to the 44-yard line, so a six-yard carry now for the Indians. Uh, usually the uh, Hardendale Indians, uh, uh, when they're giving the ball off to Zion, it's a little bit more of a read option. I really haven't seen, uh, I, have, I really haven't seen that uh, Jacob Salcedo is uh, being set up for a keeper on that. Uh, so I don't know how much read is going on here and how much uh, play calling is going on in the huddle. Nevertheless, a six yard gain and second and four now for the Indians. Right near midfield at the 43 yard line in Burbank territory, Salcedo Goes deep, sideline, jump ball, pass incomplete. A lot of contact out there. Roger Dominguez uh, did a good job of becoming the defender there and really just knocked it away so that uh, it was not intercepted. Uh, but again, uh, Coach Torres and uh, the Offensive Brain Trust taking some shots downfield. They like, uh, they like their matchups, uh, but you miss one of those and you get just a little bit behind schedule. Well, we've said this a few times and we'll say it again. Big third down here for the Indians out of the shotgun. The Indians keep it on the ground on third down and only pick up maybe a yard. It's, ooh, I don't know about that spot there, Coach. Oh, it uh, looked like he had another yard beyond that. It may mm. have been a fourth and two, but the officials are where they're marking it will be a fourth and three. I don't know. The Bulldogs went for it uh, from their own 18-yard line here. Uh, the Bulldogs, uh, I mean, the Indians in Bulldog territory and the uh, Bulldog faithful here chanting uh, defense, if you can hear them, on our crowd mic. Four wide receivers set, four down territory for the Indians. Salcedo, he's gonna run, he's gonna get caught from behind and he'll lose a yard and he'll be brought down at the 44 yard line. Turnover on downs for the Indians. First time we've seen a turnover on downs, but hey, this is what we expected. These two teams are bringing you their best. We've seen the best offensively, we've seen their best defensively. And it's just one of those games, and I'm sure if we've seen the crowd here at some point, the uh, Burbank Bulldog faithful is showing up, and so is the Harlem Dill Indian fans. Kevin Hernandez back in at quarterback, and this time he's got nobody with him in the backfield. Got three receivers wide down here near us, two receivers wide up at the top. Kevin gets his call from the sideline, and he gives it uh, to his teammates. Here we go. He's got trips to our near side, twins to the top. Hernandez surveying here comes pressure he's gonna run here's where he's dangerous finds the sideline rodriguez hits him and he goes out of bounds but boy did he pick up a whole lot of yards on that play there coach he's all the way uh, down to uh hardendale territory now at the you know, 36 yard line where kevin hernandez is really dangerous is out here on the on the edge he stops and he starts and he stops and he starts and if you don't run through him he's gonna get by 21 yards on that pickup there for Hernandez, pass is caught. Rene Espinosa. So move, get close to uh, another first down, but uh, right down to the 30 yard line, it looks like a six yard gain. The Bulldogs like their uh, matchups here on the perimeter. Let's see if they go to it again. Hernandez rolls right, keeping it. Runs out of room, he goes out of bounds, just maybe a yard gain. We'll see where the referees will spot that one. The officials say that, the officials say that his momentum stopped before he went out of bounds. I saw him uh, saying, wind the clock, and the clock is running. We're under the uh, five and a half minute mark now uh, as the Bulldogs uh, line up for a third and three. Not a whole lot of time to catch your breath between snaps when you're playing the uh, Burbank Bulldogs. Maybe a gain of two yards, maybe one. We know how dangerous Hernandez is, whether he's running or passing. Here come the Indians with the blitz. Hernandez, the middle of the field, the pass is incomplete. And there's a flag on the play. I think he was maybe looking for Johnny Alvarado uh, running a post pattern in the middle. 
We got a flag uh, in the vicinity of a pass route. Uh, one of the uh, Burbank uh, wide receivers saying, yeah, he held me, but I uh, haven't gotten a signal there from the white hat. We'll see uh, as he uh, comes over and tells us. It's uh, interference against the uh, Harlandale defense. That comes with an automatic first down at the uh, point of the uh, foul. And so now at the uh, 20 yard line, the Bulldogs all tied up in the red zone. 5-12 to go here. It's a fast moving first half here as the Burbank Bulldogs from their 20. Pass, high, oh, more contact. And I don't know if that was just incidental contact, but uh, there was a pass and a flag. Two flags, uh, Carlos De La Vega, I'm not sure if it was in incidental or not, but it looked like the uh, receiver was gonna get by him and the only choice he had was to knock him off his route, knock him down, and uh, two officials saw it. The flags came out immediately. That's gonna be interference uh, half the distance uh, to the, uh, I don't think that was in the end zone. It's interference, uh, automatic first down for sure. I don't think that happened at the, oh, yeah. uh, at the goal line. Well, they're bringing it down to the five-yard line. The five-yard line, yes. So another 15-yarder. So from the five-yard, it's a first and goal to go for the Bur Burbank Bulldogs. We thank you for joining us here on our YouTube channel. Hernandez in the goal line offense. He rolls over to the right side. Passes. Passes inter. No, it's not. It almost was intercepted. Oh boy, and I know he's mad at himself for not hanging on to that one. No, we are. Mm. That would have been a big one for the Indians defense. No whistles in the crowd, please. No whistles in the crowd. Noah Wizard, uh, nonetheless, he broke no up the pass, so the pass is incomplete. Mm. He jumped on that pass route. He had Good an defense, yeah. He wasn't able to hold on. Sometimes that ball gets to you a little sooner than you anticipate, and it's a, it's a lot easier. I mean, it's a lot harder than it looks. It looks easy from up here. Noah Wizard, nice defensive play. Just wasn't able to snag that interception. I want to take a moment to say hello to Jason Garcia, Michael Tellez. And uh, Greg Borrego. We got a timeout on the field, Bobby. You can say hello to all you want to. It was the Burbank Bulldogs calling their first timeout of the half. Uh, Harlandale and Burbank both with two timeouts left. Anybody else you want to say hello to? We got Chris Silva, the dojo karate. Nephew, uh, Michael Tellez, the brother of Ethan and Bella Tellez, who's up in the booth with us. So we thank you for joining us on this special edition Thursday night high school football between these two teams. Both teams coached red hot coming into this ball game, and they're still pretty hot if you ask me. I'm gonna further that shout out to Dojo Karate. Uh, that's Greg Borrego, uh, the owner of uh, the Dojo Karate uh, studio there on Pleasanton Road. Uh, we thank you for joining him. He's a bulldog himself, but uh, he's a bulldog himself, but uh, he had a son that played uh, in one of the maroon and gold, so I'm not sure which way he's going this way. I'm not sure which way he's going this way, but uh, we thank him for uh, joining and joining us. Always a good sport, Greg uh, Borrego. As we resume play here from uh, the Bulldogs are at the five yard line, second down here for Hernandez. It's a low snap. He has to pick it up off the ground. Now he's scrambling, running to the opposite side, gets away from two defenders. Defense closing in, gets rid of the football, dumps it into the end zone. Touchdown, what a play, what concentration. Izzy Sabata just staying in the end zone, waited patiently, Kevin Hernandez dumped it off. Kevin Hernandez from one, uh, from the numbers up there off the top of the field, all the way to numbers down here, he extended that play and he waited for Izzy Sabata to finally come open. When he did, he delivered that short pass for a touchdown. The Bulldogs have a lead here as the extra point is good. It's 21 to 14, the Bulldogs leading. We're under five minutes, four minutes and 47 seconds left to play here in the first half. Uh, you are watching high school football. We're bringing it to you, we're loving it on the RC Audio Sports YouTube channel. Get ready.
defensive coordinator, Mitchell Ricker. Of course, their principal, Irene Salamante. And we're back at uh, SAIC Sports Complex. It was a seven play, 56 yard drive, uh, culminating on a three yard pass from Kevin Hernandez to Izzy Zapata. Uh, the uh, south end zone, the uh, Bulldogs up now, 21 to 14. We've got under five minutes to play in the first half. What a game. Oh boy, this is the first lead for the Burbank Bulldogs this evening. And it comes at the 447 mark. Bulldogs, this time, They'll kick it high inside the 15. It'll be brought out. Plenty of room. Believe that's Palomino. Palomino gets the ball up to the 35. So fairly decent, good field position here for the Harlandale Indians at their own at their own 35 yard line. Excuse me. And Bobby, a couple of shout outs, and you bring everybody out of the chat box. We thank you for joining us from Okinawa, Japan. One of the reasons that we love to stream this is for family and friends that aren't able to make it to these games. And you, of course, the WWW is worldwide, as is YouTube. Thank you for joining us here on RC Audio Sports. You're one of the main reasons uh, that uh, we do what we do. Okinawa. Got a couple of people from uh, Okinawa. Rhyme G, Leslie Garcia. As the ball goes up the middle, up to the 39-yard line, a four-yard pickup by Zion Molina. So second and six, the uh, Harlandale Indians uh, down for the first time in this uh, in this game, uh, trailing by seven. They've been stalled. They scored on their first two possessions and haven't scored since. Uh, so uh, we'll see if they're able to get their uh, foot back on the gas pedal. Jacob Salcedo asking for the snap. Nobody back there with them. It just oh, goes that's a La not a lateral pass, a forward pass, and it was incomplete, but a very uh, creative play there. Joseph Esparza looked like CFL almost. Uh, he, was, uh, he, was, uh, he wasn't moving at the snap, but as soon as the snap, uh, as soon as the ball was snapped, he sprinted forward. Jacob Salcedo tried to get him uh, on the run. He had some blockers out ahead of him, almost like a screen pass over here on the perimeter. So that's going to bring up a third down now for the Harlandale Indians, and that was kind of a, a play I haven't seen yet before by the Indians. Trying to catch the Bulldogs off guard. Coach Torres, Coach uh, Cornwell, Cornwell uh, uh, very innovative in their offense. Third down here for the Indians. Again, with the same formation. Opposite side, this time incomplete again. Credit to, to the uh, Burbank uh, uh, Bulldogs, the secondary, man. Nobody is opening up. Jacob Salcedo had uh, five, six seconds over there, even had time to extend it. And again, I want to make the point that the Bulldogs are doing this with a four-man rush. And so, I mean, it's tough. I mean, if you send, if you send five, six, you're going to get some uh, openings here in the uh, defensive backfield. But if you send four, you should be able to cover with seven, and the Bulldogs have done that so far. Punting unit on the field now for the Indians. Getting ready is Jose Luis Flores. He puts his foot into that one. It'll be a short bounce or a short punt. Take a short little bounce, and the Bulldogs will have the football with 3.44 left to go in this second quarter. And I believe it was the Harlandale Indians that took the kickoff to start the game. So this is gonna be an important defensive uh, effort here for Absolutely. the Indians Absolutely. to not allow the Burbank Bulldogs to get Absolutely. on the board again. Down by seven, uh, you know, puts a little more pressure on the defense and might loosen up the play calling a little bit for Coach Mall, but I can't know, I really can't see how he would loosen it up any more than he has. It's been a wide open uh, <laughs> offense so far this half. Kevin Hernandez, low snap, looks right, passes caught at the 40, brought down, pass completed to Izzy Sabata, but brought down inside the 49 yard line, but nice little pickup. That's gonna get a first down on that first play, 12 yards. Fast moving, reverse, here comes Sabata. The two are near side, he'll be knocked out of bounds by uh, Nico Rodriguez, he'll get to the 47 yard line, but we got flags we on got the play. We got a flag folks. over here, Gavin Hernandez. I think he just about had his shoulder pads uh, pulled off and the uh, referee had his eye on it. He throws a flag, so that's gonna be a 10 yard penalty. Send that uh, line of scrimmage back to the Burbank 40. One more shout out here, DG05. He says he's got the whole fire station watching. <laughs> so everybody put your matches away, no fires. We want that fire station watching all night long. We appreciate you tuning in to RC Audio Sports. We uh, we bring every game uh, from the SAISD Sports Complex. 
and we bring quite a few from Memorial Stadium and Alamo Stadium as well. But we uh, we appreciate the following. We appreciate your loyalty. First and 20, first and 19 then for the Bulldogs. Which fire station? Let us know. Quads to the top of your screen as Zapata comes to our near side. Hernandez looking to Zapata. Pass almost completed there. Good defensive presence there by the Harlandale Indians. Jackson Garcia. I think he made uh, Leo Lozano think twice about hanging on to that football. He was closing in on him in a hurry, and you know, uh, the uh, wide receivers, uh, the wide receivers are uh, no backs. Uh, the no back sets are forcing the Indians to play without a safety, and when you do that, it opens up the uh, it opens up that post drop, puts a lot of pressure on the corner to cover deep and cover the post, and the uh, the Bulldogs are trying to take advantage of that. Four wide receivers, top of your screen. Hernandez fakes the run, gets it, pass. Caught, Izzy, Zapata. Boy, did he barely catch that one with his fingertips. Big catch to the 40 yard line. Kevin Hernandez, he Tim Tebow that. He took the snap, he tucked, and it was a play action to himself. He made it look like a run. He gave Izzy Zapata an opportunity to get downfield, and he and, and he delivers to, to him for a big first down. 20 yard pickup on that play right there. Hernandez looking left, pass complete to Rene Espinosa. Good one on one coverage there. Is that number 22? 42, number uh, number 42, that's Rene Cantu, and he uh, was playing off of the receiver. Uh, Kevin Hernandez took the shot there, but Rene Cantu did a good job, a, a, a nice uh, textbook tackle there in the wide open field. Look at the respect this defense has for uh, this Burbank re re receiving crew here. Pass is incomplete. He was looking for Rene Espinosa, Hernandez was. So Rene Cantu, two uh, defensive plays in a row. He breaks up the pass, and uh, indeed, uh, uh, quads down here to the uh, near us, a wide receiver up there at top, no backs, and uh, putting a lot of pressure on this secondary. The uh, uh, the Indians continue to rush for the uh, offensive line, doing a good job of protecting Kevin. Hernandez rolls out, looking deep, throws it high, one-on-one -on -one coverage, good defense, batted down by big 44, Noah Weezer. Boy, he made a big play there. A uh, big play by Noah Weizar uh, having to cover. Noah Weizar uh, looks like a linebacker type there. <laughs> yeah. having, to having to catch up. The ball was in the air. He looked back in time, and uh, he reached up and batted that ball away. A little bit of contact, but uh, because he was playing the ball, I think the officials let him go with that. And uh, uh, third and ten, big play, Noah Weizar. Noah Weizar just a few plays well, before down. batted down a, a big play in the end zone. Almost had an interception there, but the fourth down now here for Kevin Hernandez and the Bulldogs. They're gonna go for it. They've now we have two men in the backfield. Hernandez as pressure gets away from the left side. He's gonna tuck it and run. Has a first down. Hurdles a defender down to the 18. Well, check that the 22 yard line. 16 a yard scamp or a little scampy run there. Finish that off with a hurdle. Oh, and by the way, picking up a first down on the way. Uh, the right side pressure broke down. Kevin Hernandez re read it, and he uh, uh, broke on that side. Right side passes caught. Leo Lozano. Flags on the play, though. From way back, a flag on the play. This will be an interesting call, uh, something that happened in the uh, mix-up. But uh, that flag comes from uh, way back, 15, 20 yards away. Maybe a blot below the waist. Ah, we'll see. Here we go. Personal foul, blocking. Yes, below the waist. And, oh boy! Uh, so he said that's a that's a that's a big uh, that's a big penalty against the uh, Bulldogs. It's a dangerous uh, it's a dangerous technique. Uh, we got uh, a Harlemville Indian on the field now, uh, getting tended to. We're going to take a break. You're watching high school of football on the RC Audio Sports YouTube channel. Hi, I'm from your local insurance agency. So sorry to hear about your accident. Here's a check, sign this. We just signed with Martinez and Associates. <laughs> you know this isn't enough. Sign. Oh! <gasps> Come on, baby. It's a mistake to go against the auto insurance companies all alone. Just like it's a mistake to go against UTSA All-American linebacker Trey Moore. Voted the best law firm in San Antonio, three years running. Hire Martinez and Associates. We welcome you back to action here at SAISD. We're on the campus of Burbank High School. We've got a game for you, 21-14 our score here with 1.41 to go in this second quarter. 
the Bulldogs, after a big penalty here, Coach. A 15-yard penalty, personal foul, blocking below the waist. Uh, really a dangerous technique, and it was a bad judge uh, that saw it from uh, a long ways out. So this will be a first down and 25 uh, from the Harlandale Indian 38-yard line. Hernandez across the middle. Pass is completed. Out of bounds, Johnny Alvarado making that catch. Johnny Alvarado, Johnny Alvarado uh, makes himself available very early in the play. Kevin Hernandez doesn't even have to think about breaking the pocket. He delivers uh, for about a five yard gain. Hernandez, one man in the backfield. He's going to roll right side, looking to tuck it, and he'll go out of bounds after maybe a one yard pickup. Good defensive effort there by the Indians. Leo Lozano, uh, number five, some nice blocking here on the uh, short side. It was a boundary. Kevin Hernandez really didn't have a long way to go. But these wide receivers for the Burbank Bulldogs, they catch the ball, they run the ball, and they block very well. Lots of athletes on this Burbank football team. Play action, pass, Hernandez going deep into the end zone, the pass is caught. Izzy Zapata beat his defender and got into the end zone. Kevin Hernandez uh, saw that Izzy got behind the defender and he put that up, got a lot of air under and let Izzy run, run underneath the pass and just a nice pitch and catch uh, once you're behind the defender. Uh, touchdown and a two uh, score lead now for the uh, Bulldogs with a minute and 14 seconds left to go. A 13 point lead, we'll see if they can extend that to 14, they do, right through the uprights. So the uh, Burbank Bulldogs uh, defense have uh, gotten control of things. They uh, gave up two touchdowns early to the Indians and the Indians haven't scored since. The uh, Bulldogs uh, still with their uh, foot on the gas pedal. You're watching high school football on the RC Audio Sports YouTube channel. Thank you for joining us. An 11 play drive that went to 63 yards. It was a 31 yard pass from Kevin Hernandez to Izzy Zapata on a post route uh, for the touchdown. The Bulldogs, uh, the kickoff team on the field, a minute and 14 seconds left to play. And the Bulldogs up uh, 28 to 14. A big minute and 14 seconds here uh, for the Harlandale Indians. Remember that the Bulldogs kicked off to start the game. The kick, high kick, fielded. At the 22-yard line, Palomino gets it up to the 38, and he gets hit and brought down. So Indians will have 106 to try and narrow this lead and get into the conversation here of keeping this game close. Bobby, I know that you haven't called Michael Palomino's name out uh, much here tonight. He's usually one of uh, Jacob Salcedo's prime targets. He was targeted on some, uh, uh, some deep routes, but really his main two touches have been kickoff returns. The Bulldogs have done uh, really a good job of neutralizing uh, number 81. The pressure is on now for the Harlandale offense to get some uh, something going as they fake the handoff, Jacob Salcedo gets across the 40 but flags will be uh thrown first time that uh the official motioning to the visitors uh, illegal block over here against the uh, harlandale indians uh, no gain on the play so we'll see if uh coach uh, mole will take the player take the penalty it'll be first and ten i mean first down again a 10 yard penalty first and 20 this time uh, after that illegal block but uh, really the first time that we've seen uh, Jacob Salcedo uh, ready to run the ball, a little bit more of a read option with uh, Zion Molina, but uh, no gain on the play, worse than that, a penalty. Salcedo in the pocket, fires, the ball is caught, one on one, good move. Palomino gets across the 40, more importantly picking up the first down for the Indians. 
Oh, no, that would have been a first down had that not been a penalty. Excuse me. Uh, but it'll bring up a second down uh, and about eight now for the Indians. First down and 20, a 12-yard gain, and uh, Michael Palomino, I think that may have been his first reception of the night. Out of the shotgun, Salcedo will drop back. He has plenty of time, way too much time. Fires, finds the receiver, the pass is incomplete. He was looking for his receiver on the sideline who gets helped up by the uh, defense. And a lot of time, as you say, Jacobs has had a lot of time to uh, read that. But again, the Bulldogs able to put a little bit of pressure on Jacob. That time they did, and he had a lot of time. But the uh, seven defenders back here in uh, pass coverage doing a great job uh, and not letting anyone open up for Jacob. Third down and eight. That pass was intended for Roger Dominguez. I was able to get a number on that receiver. Salcedo again with plenty of time. Palomino, the receiver, catches it, gets hit right before the first down marker. Down to the 49-yard line, so another seven-yard pickup, but it's going to be a fourth and one situation here for the Indians. We've got a timeout on the field. The Harlem oh, Indians have taken it, and it was just enough. That marker <coughs> went down as, as, uh, as a receiver went out of bounds, so it was hard to tell. A timeout. The Harlem Indians know, have too. taken their second of three, allowed... Uh, you're watching a great high school uh, football game. We're so happy to bring it to you. We'll be right back. Prom 2023 is just around the corner, and you want to look your best. At Rex Formal Wear, we've got you covered. Choose from a wide range of styles and sizes and let our expert staff help you find the perfect fit. Don't wait. Come in and reserve your tuxedo today. Visit now and be the talk of the night. Y'all gonna see me shine. Shine, shine, shine Walking on beams of light, 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 light oh, 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 oh. Welcome you back to SAISD Sports Complex Coach Robert Villafranca I'm Bobby Mendez my niece, Isabella Tea, is on the technical directing. We'll get the rest. Well, we got time to get the rest of the crew here. Isaiah Castro, Sebastian Castro, father-son combo on the cameras. And then Cesar Mendez also on the camera. Another timeout taken, Coach. But we'll, let's take this time here to kind of regroup. Uh, we've been uh, kind of looking here in these. We talked about offensive production coming into this ball game So far, Burbank Bulldogs winning the battle. Uh, winning the offensive battle, but a big part of that is the Burbank Bulldogs defense that has really stifled the Arlandale Indian offense after those first two possessions. Arlandale is really not even threatened since they scored on their first two possessions, and uh, the Burbank Bulldogs have. They now have a two touchdown lead against them, and remember that the Burbank Bulldogs won the option, uh, won the uh, coin toss, but they deferred the option to the second half. So a two touchdown lead for the Bulldogs and they're gonna get the ball to start the second half. So this is a big possession for the Indians. They have one to, oh, five seconds left. I hadn't looked up the clock in a minute. So uh, there is uh, uh, probably last play of the game here. I mean, last play of the half here for the uh, 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 Harlandale Indians. Jacob Salcedo out of the shotgun. They're gonna give him plenty of time. He's gonna hurl it deep down to the 10 yard line and that ball will not be brought down that is going to do it for the first half the indians will go to the break trailing by 14. you are watching high school football on rc audio sports we'll come back stay with us it is halftime but stay with us for the jlm real estate investment halftime show harlandale indian marching band will come out first and then we will also um, get both teams. So we're gonna take a quick break. When we come back, it'll be the JLM Real Estate Investment Halftime Show. Buenos dias, familia. As we prepare to welcome our students back to school on Tuesday, I wanted to take a moment to express my deepest gratitude for each and every one of you. Firstly, I want to acknowledge the tremendous effort that you have all put forth to ensure that our schools are ready to receive our precious students once again. From administrators to teachers, custodian to counselor, 
bus driver to nurses and central office staff and everyone in between. Your dedication and hard work have not gone unnoticed. You truly go And we're gonna bring you back to the uh, JLM Real Estate Investment uh, in Investments. Uh, it is uh, a, a part of our uh, programming to always bring you the halftime entertainment, the Harlandville Indians marching band, and the Golden Dancers out on the field. I'm gonna cut my mic down. I'm gonna turn the PA mic up a little bit. We're gonna enjoy halftime uh, with them. Harlandale Indian uh, Golden Dancers, the award-winning uh, Golden Dancers for the Harlandale Indians. And uh, speaking of award-winning, uh, the uh, Harlandale, uh, the million-dollar band from Indian Land, the Harlandale High School Marching Band about to uh, perform straight ones at uh, UIL contest this past week. They're going on the area. D.W. Rutledge will perform at 1.30 next Saturday at D.W. Uh, Rutledge uh, Stadium. Once again, we are enjoying the JLM Real Estate Investments Halftime Show with you. I'm going to turn my mic down. PA is going to have the show here. Let's enjoy the Million Dollar Band from Indian Land.
The Million a Dollar Band from Indian Land, Straight Ones, give it to them. Straight Ones at UIL contest this past week. They're moving on to area on the 28th. They'll perform at 1.30 p.m. at DW Rutledge. Support the Million Dollar Band from Indian Land. Great show, and speaking of Straight Ones, we have another Straight One Band coming up after a break. This is the JLM Real Estate Investment Halftime Show. Introducing a new era in real estate investment. The JLM Real Estate Investment Team offers fast, simple solutions for distressed properties. Perhaps you've inherited a troubled property or you have fallen behind on payments or you don't have time to hassle with repairs. The JLM approach is built on ethics, understanding, and empathy. Jacob and Lisette Martinez promise you a hassle-free experience. Call them today. And we bring you back to the SAISD Sports uh, Complex. We're in the uh, JLM Real Estate uh, Investment Halftime Show. We've just watched the Harlandale Indians uh, perform uh, their halftime uh, performance, and we are getting ready for the uh, Burbank Bulldogs uh, to do their thing. It'll be uh, the Orange Jackets, when they were once called uh, the Orange Jackets. It'll be the uh, uh, Burbank uh, Bulldog uh, dance team will perform, uh, first of all. And uh, let me uh, turn my mic down. We'll go to the PA. We're going to enjoy halftime performance with you. Thank you. 
straight ones. Give it to them. UIL Sweepstakes Award winners, the uh, Burbank High School Marching Band. They'll be performing on October 28th at DW Rutledge as well. They've advanced to the area uh, level competition. Straight ones, you've watched uh, two uh, band, marching bands that uh, earned straight ones at UIL this past week. And congratulations to the Harlandale High School Million Dollar Band from Indianland and the uh, Burbank High School Marching Band. We always enjoy halftime performances. We know that you are enjoying them at home with us. This is the JLM Real Estate Investment Halftime Show. We'll be right back. Introducing a new era in real estate investment. The JLM Real Estate Investment Team offers fast, simple solutions for distressed properties. Perhaps you've inherited a troubled property or you have fallen behind on payments or you don't have time to hassle with repairs. The JLM approach is built on ethics, understanding, and empathy. Jacob and Lisette Martinez promise you a hassle-free experience. Call them today. You're gonna see me shine, 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 shine Walking on beams of light I'm from your local insurance agency. So sorry to hear about your accident. Here's a check, sign this. We just signed with Martinez and Associates. <laughs> you know this isn't enough. Sign. Oh! <gasps> Come on, baby. It's a mistake to go against the auto insurance companies all alone. Just like it's a mistake to go against UTSA All-American linebacker Trey Moore. Voted the best law firm in San Antonio, three years running. Hire Martinez and Associates. Introducing a new era in real estate investment. The JLM Real Estate Investment Team offers fast, simple solutions for distressed properties. Perhaps you've inherited a troubled property or you have fallen behind on payments or you don't have time to hassle with repairs. The JLM approach is built on ethics, understanding, and empathy. Jacob and Lisette Martinez has promised you a hassle-free experience. Call them today. We welcome you back to action here at Burbank High School. It's the Burbank Bulldogs at SAISD Sports Complex. The kickoff... Um, was by the Indians and the Burbank Bulldogs will take over at their own 24 yard line to start this third quarter. We welcome you back. And here comes Kevin Hernandez, keeps it on the ground and he'll go down at the 30 yard line. Great time, uh, great halftime performances by the marching bands of the Harlandale High School and uh, Burbank High School. We're back. For the uh, second half now, the uh, Burbank Bulldogs with a two-touchdown lead, 28-14. to 14. They uh, deferred the option in the uh, second half, in the, in the, uh, at the opening of the game, so they've got the kickoff in the second half. Second down and eight here. Here we go with Kevin Hernandez picking it up himself on the drive to the 35, up to the 36-yard line. So the Burbank Bulldogs are picking up right where we left or where they left off, I should say, as they're moving the football and a third down and a four situation here for the Bulldogs. Kevin Hernandez, shotgun, left side, pass complete across the 40. He's off to the races, the 30, the 20. Is he gonna get caught? No, into the end zone, huge run. Believe that was number five, Leo Lozano, for the Burbank Bulldogs. And coach, we talked about the Bulldogs with an explosive offense led by Kevin Hernandez and all the weapons that he has. This time it's Leo Lozano, it's his turn. Leo Lozano makes the first defender miss and as you called it, it was off to the races. Nobody was gonna catch him. He's in the end zone. The uh, Bulldogs now with a three touchdown lead. Uh, they're out to extend it from 20 to 21 if the kicker can get it through the uprights and he does. So the uh, Burbank Bulldogs uh, quickly out to a 35 to 14 uh, lead uh, here against uh, the Indians. 10 minutes and 33 seconds. It didn't take them uh, but a minute and a half to score there. You're watching uh, high school football from the SAISD Sports Complex on the RC Audio Sports uh, YouTube channel. We'll be right back. 
Hi, I'm from your local insurance agency. So sorry to hear about your accident. Here's a check, sign this. We just signed with Martinez and Associates. <laughs> you know this isn't enough. Sign. Oh! <gasps> Come on, baby. It's a mistake to go against the auto insurance companies all alone. Just like it's a mistake to go against UTSA All-American linebacker Trey Moore. Voted the best law firm in San Antonio three years running. Hire Martinez and Associates. A minute, and, a minute and something. A minute and 27 three seconds. Three plays, 64. A minute and 27 seconds. Yeah, a minute and 27 seconds was all it took the uh, Burbank Bulldogs to score there. It was a three-play drive, but it was a big 64-yard catch and run, actually. A little bit of a swing pass. Uh, Leo Lozano catches the ball, makes a defender miss, and he races the hard Indian defense uh, to the finish line uh, there at the uh, south end zone. It's Burbank up. Uh, uh, 35 to 14, and uh, if you want to call a possession big, B I G, this possession is big for the Indians. Indians field it from their near 30 yard line and get up to the 37. But uh, yeah, Jackson Garcia, the man returning the ball. Ten twenty six to go here in this third quarter and the ball really moving the Bulldogs way and Kevin Hernandez just we talked about how great of an athlete he is and how top athlete he is in this district and showing it here tonight. Credit to him for getting the ball to Leo Lozano but it was all Leo Lozano on that touchdown play as again uh, uh, making the defender miss and uh, beating the uh, defense to the end zone. Salcedo fires to Palomino. Palomino across the 40 to the 42 yard line. So a four yard pickup for the Harlandale Indians. You were talking about the importance of the Indians having to make some scores here, coach. They have taken a dip here, 35-14, they are trailing. Harlandale scored on their uh, first two possessions and haven't scored since. Uh, so again, uh, in order to, to right the ship, uh, there's got to be a score on this possession. Zion Molina will get the call. Fa check that. That's Esparza. Esparza with a tough stiff arm. Finally goes out of bounds. And the 39-yard line, huge pickup there for Esparza and the Indians. We called uh, earlier, uh, called uh, Zion Molina Thunder and Joseph Esparza Lightning and the uh, Indians going with Lightning there. Joseph Esparza, again, not the biggest uh, athlete, not the biggest football player in the district, but boy, he can run and he runs with a lot of courage. 19 yards on that pickup there for Esparza. Salcedo forced out of the pocket, rolling to his right side, has to get rid of the football. The pass is incomplete. He was looking for Michael Palomino, who was guarded, but good coverage. And you talked about that coverage all night long. You know, uh, one of the things that we have to know, we played a half of a, a football game here, but one of the big differences that, uh, one of the big differences uh, for the Burbank Bulldog defense that we haven't seen yet against uh, Jacob Salcedo is he's extending plays, but he's not able to make a play after he's extended them. So the Bulldogs staying in coverage a lot longer than previous uh, defensive defenses have been able to. Five wide receivers set. Handoff, Molina down to the 35, maybe the 34. The ball was dropped, and Burbank has got the turnover. Not what you want if you're the Harlandale Indians, but the Burbank Bulldogs faithful happy at the turnover. Not, uh, not the uh, result that the Harlandale Indians were looking for from this possession, and the Harlandale Indian defense will go back out on the field uh, with that much more pressure. Zion Molina trying to get that extra yard. The ball came free, and the uh, Burbank Bulldogs come up with that. So uh, the first, um, uh, Bobby, I think that's the first turnover for the Harlandale Indians. Uh, probably couldn't have come at a worse time here uh, for the Indians, but the Bulldogs are pumped about it, and they're going to put Kevin Hernandez in that uh, tough uh, Burbank offense back on the field. 9.25 to go here. Back at their own 34. Kevin Hernandez and the Bulldogs. Hernandez has pressure, rolling, firing. Did the ball get taken away? No, Hernandez is still scrambling. Hernandez gets across the 40. Oh boy, he gets brought down and a flag will be thrown. I believe they're gonna call a late hit as Kevin Hernandez 
Let a wild goose chase out in the field and was finally brought down at the 41 yard Kevin line. Kevin Hernandez uh, rolling to his left and uh, looking downfield. It was uh, number 50, Ignacio Seja in hot pursuit. A couple of punt fakes uh, got to Seja off track there and Kevin Hernandez was able to turn back. We've seen Kevin Hernandez go numbers to numbers uh, from one set of numbers to the other. And uh, it was about a six yard gain, but tech on, uh, tech on uh, another 15 yards uh, to the end of that play as a personal foul late hit is called against the uh, Harlandale Indians. That's gonna move the ball in to Indian territory. The ball will rest at the Harlandale Indian 43 yard line. So Kevin Hernandez and uh, the uh, Burbank Bulldogs offense on the march. They haven't been stopped in three possessions. Yeah, defense for the Indians has been struggling to contain the Bulldogs all game long. More flags will come out. So that will bring up Well, this time it'll be a penalty against the Burbank Bulldogs, so that would offset a few yards, so a five-yard penalty brought back to the 48-yard line. Hernandez with a tight bunch here as Espinosa goes in motion. Little dump pass. Pass is caught. Izzy Zapata will make the catch, and he picks up a couple of yards to the 45. Jonathan Perez uh, for the Indians, a, a nice read there, and uh, gets, a, gets a tackle, uh, gets a nice tackle, doesn't let Izzy get very far after the catch. That'll bring a second and uh, 12 uh, for the uh, Burbank Bulldogs ball at the Harlandale 45 yard line. Burbank Bulldogs pretty much have been able to get what they've wanted offensively from Kevin Hernandez and his wide receivers crew. Sends a man in motion, that's Lozano. Here comes pressure. Escaping again is L Hernandez. Twice he escaped the same man, number 32. Jason Fuentes was back there. And Kevin Hernandez, just too athletic to be brought down one-on-one. -on -one. JC Fuentes had a couple of opportunities, but uh, Looks like uh, Kevin Hernandez might have that telekinesis uh, superpower. He breaks up both of those tackle attempts. Nine yards on that carry. This time they give it to Johnny Alvarado. Navarado will pick up the first down and get down to the 27 yard line. A quick, uh, again, up tempo offense after a big gain like that. They move Kevin Hernandez out uh, and uh, Johnny Alvarado in the uh, quarterback position, basically a wildcat formation for the Bulldogs. Alvarado again on the ground. To the right side, lowers his head and he will go and Jackson Garcia will make the stop. Not sure if uh, Coach Mall uh, has got this in his uh, game plan or he's just trying to give uh, Kevin Hernandez a chance to catch his breath after a couple of long extended uh, plays. But uh, Kevin Hernandez nevertheless uh, back in the uh, quarterback position looking over to the sideline and uh, waiting the call. He, he gives it to his line and uh, they're ready to go once again. Second down and 10 for Hernandez and the Bulldogs. Hernandez steps up, fires right side, one-on-one -on -one coverage. He was looking for Izzy Zapata. Good defensive coverage there, one-on-one. -on -one by the Harlandale secondary. Good coverage, uh, but also kudos to, again, the Burbank uh, Bulldog offensive line who are giving uh, Kevin Hernandez all kinds of time to throw. And again, I always make this point, it's not in the pocket, it's not just time, but it's space. They're not letting the defensive line get any penetration. Uh, uh, Kevin Hernandez sitting back there in the pocket with all kinds of space and time to look downfield. 10th play of this drive so far for Burbank. Indians, defensively need a stop. They need to stop the bleeding. Kevin Hernandez will have pressure, gets rid of it. One on one, the pass caught out of bounds. No, incomplete. So there are flags on the play though. Oh. Roughing the passer is the call against the uh, Arlandale Indians. And uh, that is a personal foul that it'll be an automatic first down and a 15 yard penalty ball resting at the 28 yard line half the distance to the goal line uh 28 uh, half the distance would be the 14 yard line but the big deal here is 
a, a, a first down for the uh, Bulldogs when the Indians would have had them at uh, fourth and 10. So two uh, big uh, personal fouls uh, for the uh, Arlandale Indian defense have helped this uh, Burbank Bulldog de offense that doesn't need a whole lot of help extending drives. They've helped uh, the Bulldogs extend drives twice. Kevin Hernandez sends a man in motion, fakes it, keeps it himself. He'll get caught from behind by Safuentes. So a loss of about four, maybe five on that play there. But uh, Jason Fuentes, good job on defense. A rare uh, tackle for loss, and uh, Kevin Hernandez slowed up uh, because uh, the uh, front side of that play uh, was in a good position. It gave Jason Fuentes an opportunity to catch up and uh, get a jersey tackle off of Kevin Hernandez. So that brings up now second down and long here for Burbank. Burbank, Hernandez pressured. He's going to be wrapped up. Still didn't go down, though, Coach. Yeah, uh, Julio Martinez had a good hold of his shoulder pad, and uh, Kevin Hernandez had a lot of pride there, uh, uh, try to hold his ground. But you know, it's dangerous when you got that ball. Uh, you want, you know, you got one hand on that ball, you get it swung around. Uh, I'm sure Coach Mall uh, gets an opportunity to talk to Kevin about that. We're just going to take the sack on those plays. Uh, but uh, here we go, third and very long uh, for the Bulldogs. No backs. Trips down here with the with the 73 out here. So we've got a crazy formation. It's number one, yes sir, in the tackle spot, and that's what uh, that's a, that's a formation that's been giving the Indians a lot of difficulty. Number 73 was out here with the uh, trips on, on the uh, sideline near us. Number one, uh, Rene Espinosa lined up in the tackle spot over there uh, away from us and kind of hidden in there. It's kind of hard for the uh, linebackers and secondary to see that there's an eligible receiver in the tackle spot. The uh, Burbank Bulldogs have uh, used that play a couple of times uh, to great effect. Uh, this time the Indians were able to uh, stymie uh, the uh, the intent of that play. So fourth and long here is not the, it's, uh, not the, not the first fourth and long that the uh, Burbank Bulldogs have faced, but this is a big one uh, for the Indians uh, defense. Out of the shotgun, Hernandez will throw it, get rid of it. Throws into four wide receiver, or excuse me, four defenders, and that pass incomplete. Quadruple coverage, if you will, <laughs> but uh, fourth down, uh, you got nothing to lose. Kevin Hernandez has got to toss it down the, uh, he's got to toss it down the field, uh, uh, and he did exactly what he needed to. Even an interception in a situation like that wasn't going to hurt. So again, uh, fourth down, you don't want to take a sack. You uh, want to take your shot at the end zone. Kevin Hernandez does that. A uh, lot of coverage on the play, incomplete. And so for the first time in about four possessions, the Arlanda Indian defense has stopped the uh, Bulldogs and has kept them out of the end zone. So from their own 27 yard line, the Indians will start this possession. 14 plays on that drive for the Burbank Bulldogs. The Indians will start on the ground. Simon Molina, who uh, fumbled the ball uh, on the uh, previous possession, uh, Coach Torres goes right back to him, showing a lot of confidence. And we want to say hello to the Alvin uh, family who always watching our Arlandale streams. Uh, they are stationed in uh, Tokyo, Japan. And uh, the Almonds, thank you for joining in on us. Thank you for joining in with us on this game. Play action. Zion Molina will get the catch out of the backfield and he'll be knocked out of bounds at the 24. Or excuse me, the 34, 33 yard line. Things getting a little testy here. And uh, number, we're trying to get a number here. It comes in, uh, looks like number six uh, for the uh, Burbank Bulldogs, Xavier Salazar. Uh, had a stall to Zion Molina, so a target on his back, and he uh, ball had not, uh, whistled. The ball had not been whistled dead. He comes in uh, to deliver the blow. A third down and uh, four now for the Harlem Legends again. Still struggling to stay on schedule. Pass out of the backfield, dropped. Intended for Roger Dominguez. We've got a flag uh, back here around uh, Jacob Saucedo and a personal foul uh, roughing the passer against the orange and white. So 
the uh, Bulldogs repay the favor, and instead of having uh, the Arlandale Indians uh, punt the ball to them, they're going to uh, gift them a uh, first down and 15 yards, a ball resting at the 33, add 15 to that, 43, 48-yard line uh, the next time the Indians uh, snap the ball. So things getting a little chippy here. The uh, Burbank Bulldogs up uh, by 21 points, but uh, uh, the kids on the field, a lot of intensity, and uh, you, you feel it. You want to keep things under control. Salcedo, short pass to Sparza, makes a big move across the 45, nears the first down. Oh, he might even get the first down. Some, some tough tackling uh, and uh, maybe a little uh, extracurricular activity after uh, the uh, tackle, uh, no flags on the p on the field. The uh, Arlandale Indians coach is uh, just a few yards away from that. Want an explanation of why that was not uh, a, a personal foul, but uh, the uh, pile stayed on Joseph as far as uh, maybe a little longer than it had to. Uh, but the game is intense. The uh, officials doing uh, what they can to keep it under control. No penalty on the play, but a first down nonetheless. The uh, Indians in uh, Burbank uh, Bulldog territory trailing by 21. Down by three scores, the Indians need to get into the end zone. Sparza gets the end around handoff. Sparza runs into a little traffic and another big gain, maybe nine yards on that carry. Uh, two big carries uh, for uh, Joseph Sparza. Well, actually, a, a, a pass, a yards after catch, and that was a handoff. So he's got a he's got a reception and a rush there on the, on this drive and. Uh, playing a big part of, uh, he's a big part of why the uh, Indians are marching this one down the field. Palomino goes in motion, he'll get the handoff. Big block there by number 55 as Palomino gets down to the 25 yard line. That block made by Rene Casillas. Michael Pelomino, it's been uh, tough uh, for uh, Jacob Subsedo to target him. The uh, Bulldogs have done a great job of covering him in uh, the passing game. You know, Coach Torres says, I can't get him a touch in the passing game. I'm going to get him a touch here in the running game, and it's good for a first down. The ball resting at the 26, first and 10 for Harlandale. Indians now trying um, to move the ball here. Another short pass. I believe that's Dominguez. A short pass, but nice uh, yards after the catch. About a 14-yard gain. The Indians in the red zone now. So uh, uh, Harlandale uh, using that swing pass and uh, trying to get the ball out there on the on the perimeter, uh, outnumbering the defense and uh, out there by the numbers. And uh, they've done that quite effectively all se I mean, all game long, all season long as well. But doing it very well on this drive. No backs 12, again for Jacob Subsetland. 12 yards on that pickup there by the Indians. Another first down on the march. Palomino gets the handoff up the middle. Palomino gets down to the 10, and he's brought down at the eight yard line. The Indians feeling a little bit more energy here on this drive as they have moved the ball from their own 27 yard line down inside the eight. Uh, Michael Palomino again uh, at the first half. We didn't call his name much. And uh, again, kudos to the uh, Burbank uh, Bulldog uh, coverage on that. But. Uh, the, uh, uh, the offensive brain trust for the Indians is going to get Palomino some touches. He's had some nice carries here on this drive. Tenth play of this drive for the Indians as they try to punch it in. Fakes the handoff. Salcedo will get hit low, and he'll get down to the seven. So maybe a yard pickup there for Jacob Salcedo and the uh, Indians. Jet sweep action for Joseph Esparza, hoping that the uh, uh, Burbank uh, Bulldog defense would bite on that. Uh, Jacob Salcedo keeps that and looks for some yardage between the tackles. Uh, nice uh, uh, nice uh, discipline there by the interior line. Joe Klein uh, holding his ground and uh, not letting Jacob Salcedo get much on the play. Two receivers right, two receivers left. Zion in the backfield, Palomino in motion. He'll get the handoff. He will go out of bounds. I think he may have picked up the first down. A race to the corner, and again, you've got to drop, uh, you've got to drop that marker before the uh, runner gets there, so it's hard to say. I'm looking for, a, looking for an indication from the officials, and uh, that looks like it's going to be spotted shy of the first down. Uh, Bobby, that, that's a... Uh, that is a... That'll bring a fourth and short. But if I am not mistaken, a flag was thrown after the play. The officials, it's a dead ball foul. Unsportsmanlike conduct against the Bulldogs. So they get gifted once again. 
the uh, I mean, they give the Indians once again uh, an automatic first down, half the distance to the goal line. So instead of fourth and one and having to convert, uh, the uh, Bulldogs will gift them a first down. The ball will be spotted at the uh, two yard line. A fresh set of downs, first and goal uh, for the Harlandale Indians. Jacobs off Sedlo in the backfield uh, 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 with a Zion Molina, twins on both sides. Out of the backfield. Esparza gets the call. Esparza gets hit at the one. And he tries to power his way. But the Burbank Bulldog defense not allowing it. One of Joseph Esparza's uh, superpowers is his ability to change directions. Again, a jet sweep. You expect that to try to come off the edge. Joseph Esparza cuts it back. And the uh, and the uh, Burbank Bulldogs uh, there uh, for their for for the play. That was the last play of the third quarter. We're going to move uh, 98 yards to the other one yard line. It's a great football game. We knew it would be. Uh, we're at SAISD Sports Complex on the RC Audio Sports YouTube channel. We'll be right back. Get ready. Let's go. Let's go. We welcome you back to SAISD Sports Complex here on the campus of Burbank High School. Burbank up 35-14 in this fourth quarter. As uh, Joe Anthony says here, the PA announcer, fourth quarter stretch at SAISD. And the Harlandale Indians are making a march of their own here and trying to get into the end zone. They are at the two-yard line. Actually, they're at the one-yard line. And they need to punch this in. They're down three scores. This will be the first score if they could. Uh, to knock it down here in this second half. It's important, uh, again, if you're uh, rooting for the Cowboys, I mean, <laughs> beg your pardon, you're rooting for the Indians, it's important for them to score, but not only score, but score in, in score promptly. Salcedo out of shotgun. He's going to keep it, and he's going to go down quickly as the defense for Burbank seems like they knew exactly what they were going to run there. Ezra Maez, the defender there, making that big stop. A tackle for a loss, the ball back at the five yard line, third and goal. Salcedo again, out of the shotgun. He's gonna keep it himself, fakes the option, runs into some traffic, but he'll pick up a couple of yards, but he'll be brought down. This time he's brought down by Ryan Vasquez. Fourth down now, coach, for the Harlandale Indians. Of course, this is four down territory here as they trail three scores. You know, of course it is, Bob, but I'd like to point out that uh, we, the Harlandale Indians had the ball second and goal at the 12 minute mark, and uh, this has taken them more than one minute to score. So even if they score, it's an expensive, uh, it's an expensive touchdown time-wise. And, uh, and uh, they're gonna need all the time that they can get. They started at uh, five minutes and 10 seconds in the third quarter, but they were here at the one yard line a minute ago. Whistles before the snap, there's a timeout on the field. Who's called it? The Bulldogs have, uh, well, maybe they saw a formation that uh, they weren't uh, really happy with the way they were lined up against. Well, timeout is taken and we're gonna take it with them. You are watching high school football on RC Audio Sports. The On Par Golf Academy at Mission Del Lago was designed and developed to offer not only the highest quality golf instruction in San Antonio, but so much more. With its experienced staff and its TrackMan indoor and outdoor training facility, On Par Golf has the capability to meet all your golf improvement needs. From its junior golf programming to its entertainment and hosting services, OPG has got you covered. So if you're ready to take your golf game to the next level, come see us at On Par Golf. We welcome you back here. We are in the fourth quarter. Harlandale is trailing by 21 points. They have been in the red zone here for a little bit more than a minute that we've just talked about going to break. Indians trying to dial something up. 
urgency if we've ever talked about it for an offense to get back into this ball game is here for the Indians. Jacob Salcedo leading the tribe as the Bulldogs defense looking to make a stop and try and put this game away to fight and find who is the true number two spot in this 14-5A district. Option, no, pass, in zone, incomplete. No, it's a touchdown. He covered that ball very well. Roger that, Dominguez. Roger Dominguez gets into the end zone on a five yard touchdown pass. It took a chunk of time off the clock. Ate up some of the third quarter in a couple minutes here, or a minute and a half in this fourth quarter. Jose Luis Flores with the kick and the extra point between the uprights, the Indians will get 21 points on the board. Now they trail 14 with only 10.37 remaining in this fourth quarter. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we'll resume football here at SAISD Sports Complex. Get ready. Grab it, let's go. We bring you back to SAISD Sports Complex on the campus of Burbank High School. The Indians coach got into the end zone. A 14 play, 73 yard, culminated by a five yard pass from Jacob Salcedo to Dominguez to narrow uh, the uh, deficit to 14 points. Here come the Bulldogs, Leo Lozano. He breaks the 15 up to about the 17. And coach, how important is it for this Harlandale defense to make a stop or even possibly create some kind of a turnover here. Well, it's uh, funny that you uh, mentioned turnover because I'm going back to, through the game in my head and the uh, Burbank Bulldogs have yet to turn the ball over. This has been a very, uh, except for you've got some personal fouls in there that uh, I'm sure that the sub, both coaching staffs would, would like to eliminate. But uh, besides those, it mis has been very mistake free. Burbank has the football they want to if i'm coach i'm pretty sure they want to slow things down but no they want to go in the air a diving effort catch uh, incomplete he was looking for johnny alvarado johnny alvarado on a wheel route uh, he did like the match up there with uh, jonathan bettis but jonathan bettis does a good job of uh uh, does a good job of covering that wheel route uh, right off the bat the uh, uh, coach mall going deep and uh, trying to uh, hit pay dirt early second down Kevin Hernandez keeps it himself runs across the 20 has daylight the 40 finally tripped up oh boy Kevin Hernandez one amazing runner it's Robert not gonna a count Bobby we've got a flag back behind the line of scrimmage boy, oh a, boy it was a hold uh, back uh, at the uh, at the line and I was gonna uh, remark that it seemed that way uh, but uh, we had uh, somebody here on the edge uh, grabbing a shoulder pad I didn't see a flag thrown I was gonna let it be but uh, uh, after the play, I do see the, the flag back in the uh, in the backfield. Well, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be back in just a moment. You are watching High School Football on RC Audio Sports. Hi, I'm from your local insurance agency. So sorry to hear about your accident. Here's a check. Sign this. We just signed with Martinez & Associates. <laughs> you know this isn't enough. Sign. Oh! <gasps> Come on, baby. It's a mistake to go against the auto insurance companies all alone. Just like it's a mistake to go against UTSA All-American linebacker Trey Moore. Voted the best law firm in San Antonio, three years running. Hire Martinez & Associates. Welcome you back to SAISD um, sports field here as uh, number 34 Jonathan Perez walks off the field and Burbank was called for a holding penalty off a great run that Kevin Hernandez had being brought back here. So now it's 
Second down and 17 for Hernandez and the Bulldogs. Winding up, throwing deep in the middle. Pass almost caught. Oh boy, Izzy Zapata's gonna be angry at himself at that one for not hanging on to the football. He had a post route, looked like he was going deep, but Jackson Garcia uh, had nice coverage on him, but it was almost like a back shoulder pass. Uh, Izzy was able to adjust to it, and uh, Jackson could not, uh, you know, could not cut quick enough. Uh, Izzy Zapata going back, probably talking to himself. Uh, he knows he should have held on to that one. He's had some nice plays uh, already tonight. That would he could have added that. Uh, he could have added that to his portfolio, but instead an incomplete pass and uh, third and very long. Uh, the uh, Bulldogs will try again. Big third down now for the defense for Harlandale. They've been needing stops, and this could be one of them. As Kevin Hernandez chase up in the pocket, he's hit three times, still on his feet. And boy, oh boy, is he one tough customer to bring down. But the Indians finally brought him down at the nine yard line. Boy, oh boy. Well, this they, is uh, probably not gonna be hybrid. I don't know that Coach Bolt will go for this fourth down. It'll be a punt. So the uh, uh, Indians have a back, a, a man back. It's uh, Joseph Esparza. He has a little trouble with it, but he feels it. Here comes Esparza. Gets a good block, and he will put the Indians in a pretty decent field position here for the Harlandale Indians. They are checking the boxes, Coach, on things that you need to do to get right back into this ball game. First thing was to score. Second thing was to make a stop. Now here they are on this third item of the checklist with the ball back in decent field position. Uh, there's checklists and there's sub checklists as well. Not only did they need to make a stop, but a three and out was big too. The Burbank Bulldogs not able to, to uh, chew up a lot of clock and here they take possession and it's a short field. Again, you're not having to go 80 yards. You only have to go uh, 35 yards to score this one. Let's see if the Indians can do it and let's see if they can do it quick, a quick pass out of the backfield and the pass is completed and that was uh, isaiah hernandez who gets a first down for the indians move the chains that's what you're talking about right there the uh, the indians are really liking that swing pass and liking the matchups that they have out here on the perimeter against the uh, uh against the uh, dbs here for uh, burbank we'll see if uh, uh, coach Torres and the indians stay with that strategy uh, first down and 10 at the uh, burbank 23. 10 yard pickup for the indians as they continue to march in Burbank territory. They keep it on the ground and hand it off to Zion Molina, who might have gotten to the 21 yard line, maybe two yards on that carry. Three yards in a cloud of dust or on an artificial turf, a, a cloud of beads uh, there. But uh, the uh, Harlandale Indians trying to keep the Bulldog defense uh, honest and uh, running between the tackles. Enough uh, to do that. Zion Molina, some tough yardage for him. Big second down coming up here for the Indians. Salcedo looking left, fakes it, now going completely the, uh, the opposite direction. And he was intending for, I believe that might be Isaiah Hernandez. Oh, Ethan, Ethan Tellez, oh, uh, okay. Bella spotting that one out pretty big as Ethan was covered, but the pass incomplete. Uh, Jacob Salcedo again, uh, probably in four down territory and uh, he had a good check down route uh, there, opted to go for all the marbles. He thought that Ethan might have had enough space, uh, but uh, Zion Molina offered, you know, he made him, he offered himself there at, uh, <laughs> at, at a check off and uh, Jacob Sosedo says, no, I'm going for it all, an incomplete pass. Third down, big third down, Indians. Every down is big, Garrett going forward here. Salcedo steps up into the pocket. He's gonna run it. What, hurdles a defender, but he'll get down and he'll get close by the 16 yard line, but not enough for a first down. And you know it, coach, they're, they're gonna go for it. This Absolutely. is it. Absolutely have to go for it in this situation. We've got a timeout on the field. However, it's an official's timeout. Not sure if Jacob Salcedo got up after that. Uh, there he is uh, on his own accord, but he took a big shot as he tried to go over the, uh, over the defender and the defender uh, extended. So a big fall uh, for uh, Jacob Salcedo. They're gonna wind the clock as he's made it off the field. And in a situation like that, a lot of times the coach will say, just go down, just go down. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. Sal the field. We gotta go. Salcedo didn't want to go through him, didn't want to go around him, and he tried to go over him. So now with that, he'll have to come out for a play. His backup, Ethan Tejas. I think Coach uh, Torres is going to take a timeout and try to get uh, Jacob uh, back in this play on a big 
maybe a, a game-changing uh, uh, fourth uh, down situation here. Uh, you're watching high school football from the SAISD Sports Complex on RC Audio Sports, a YouTube channel. We will be right back. Introducing a new era in real estate investment. The JLM Real Estate Investment Team offers fast, simple solutions for distressed properties. Perhaps you've inherited a troubled property or you have fallen behind on payments or you don't have time to hassle with repairs. The JLM approach is built on ethics, understanding, and empathy. Jacob and Lisette Martinez promise you a hassle-free experience. Call them today. This is, could be do or die. Uh, we're back for a big fourth, uh, da fourth down situation. Bobby, this as, one could yeah, be do or die. As you said, Coach, coming in from that timeout. Out of the shotgun. Ball is dropped. They left Ethan in there. That uh, Jonathan, or excuse me, Jacob Sassel did not come out. Turnover on downs. The Indians could not get a handle on the snap. And so the Indians uh, turned the ball over on what was a very big possession there. So Burbank now in control in the driver's seat in this ball game with 7.48 to go and they are up by two touchdowns. Uh, the uh, Burbank Bulldog faithful here on the uh, home side, of course, uh, they're feeling it and uh, the, uh, the uh, Bulldogs just need a couple of first downs to put this game out of reach. Hernandez, heavy pursuit from the backside. He's wrapped up, but he cannot go down. He will not go down. He goes out of bounds. I can hear uh, Coach Kamalander uh, saying it's the little things, and uh, <laughs> you know you don't want to go out of bounds in a situation like this. I'm sure Coach Moller is reminding Kevin Hernandez what a game he's had, but I uh, would have liked him to stay in inbounds. Hernandez will keep it himself. He runs into the defense. It looked like he was going to be stopped. Changed directions. Here he goes again. Took a quick little knee. Oh boy, that guy is, he is heads up. There you go. He is a special, special player there. Most guys would have been down right at contact there at the 30 yard line or so. Well, the big thing there was that he did not go out of bounds and he had the presence of mind to take the knee inbounds and uh, keep that clock running. Uh, it's uh, another 40 seconds uh, before they have to snap the ball. They're an up-tempo offense, but I know that Coach Mull is gonna try to take all of as many of those 40 seconds as he possibly can, and uh, he certainly is. Now under 10 seconds, you don't see the Bulldogs take a snap under uh, the 10 second mark off, and they're doing it now. 14 yard pickup on that play there by Hernandez. This time he hands it off over to Zapata. Zapata will be get will get caught from behind. You know, Bob, 40 seconds if you stay in bounds, you have the uh, between plays. So a first down, you get three plays. That's 40 times three, that's 120 seconds. Every first down is worth two minutes. Six minutes and 34 seconds to go. A couple of first downs will make it very, very tough for a 14 uh, comeback to uh, come to fruition. Defense for the back. Indians looking for something big, a big turnover. Short pass, it is completed. Rene Espinosa, good coverage there uh, by the Harlandale Indians. Give me shout outs tonight. Uh, Manuel uh, Lopez finally came on the chat. Uh, he's out in Frisco, Texas uh, watching. I know he watches a lot of uh, our RC Audio Sports uh, streams. Uh, good to see you, Manuel. Hope all is well. Uh, say hello to Jerry when you, when you run into him up in Frisco. Third down now available, or available, excuse me, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking here, of all of all the people on our chat, we appreciate you joining in and chatting with us. Big third down for for the Bulldogs. Little pitch and catch. Check that Zapata could not hang on to the ball. And again, uh, did he catch it? No, he did not catch it. It bounced and uh, it's a fourth down. It's an incomplete pass. We're going to fourth down now. But They uh, just the, moved the, the down marker one yard, but okay. The um, uh, But the, the big deal here is uh, stop the clock, stop the clock. So now the Indians set for a return as Kevin Hernandez talked about, able to both be quarterback and punter. Harlandale looking to go for a block, but nice punt. Takes a bulldog bounce. The Indians will get away from it. 
Oh boy, five minutes, 25 seconds to go. The Indians not quite out of it just yet. We've talked about urgency from the offenses, and if the Indians have ever needed to be have some sense of urgency, it is now. Well, if you're uh, if you're on the uh, Burbank Bulldog defense, what you're uh, telling yourself is don't allow the big strike. Uh, you might see the Bulldog defense go a little softer uh, in, in, uh, in their pressure and allow uh, a plays to happen underneath them. It would take a, uh, it would take a quick strike uh, on one of these possessions to get the Harlandale Indians back in the ball game, and the uh, Bulldogs are going to do all they can uh, to keep that happening. The clock is certainly in their favor with a two-touchdown lead. Jacob Salcedo back in the ball game for the Indians. Five wide receivers. Salcedo, he'll keep it. He'll run across the 20. He'll slide at the 25 and get to the 26-yard line where he'll pick up six yards and the clock will continue to run here so we need to see the Indian offense get back to the line of scrimmage and the Bulldogs doing exactly what we would expect them to do a little bit softer letting the play come underneath and let Jacob upset the run just not let him get a big play three receivers to our near side Salcedo will get it over to Roger Dominguez on a quick little pass and still in bounds but still about another two yard pickup Maybe a two-yard pickup, and the official says that the forward progress was stopped before uh, Dominguez could get out of bounds. And again, these little things are making a difference. That's going to knock off another 15 or 20 seconds, even if the uh, Indians are in up tempo. So the Bulldogs doing their job and keeping the uh, ball in front of them. Third down for Salcedo and the Indians. Palomino in motion. They go with it on the ground on third down. Up to Palomino. Palomino gets hit, and he'll lose a yard. He'll get back down to... The 25 yard line, he'll lose two yards. Actually, that's Zion Molina. So we get a better shot there. So fourth down now for the Indians and coach coming into this ball game with 3.55 to go. We knew that it was gonna be an offensive um, explosion here between these two teams. But what's turned out to be really impressive has been the Burbank Bulldog defense. Fourth down, the Indians are forced to go for it. Play action. They go for a screen play to Zion, and Zion will barely get the first down to move the chain. So 31 yard line is the target. The 30 yard line was the target. They got to the 31. 326 to go. Indians getting a couple of plays. Burbank giving it to them, giving them the, the small plays. Nothing big so far. Another pass incomplete. He was looking for Roger Dominguez, and that stops the clock temporarily. You might expect on this play, on this play, maybe uh, setting up a pump and go, a, a, a stop and go, as uh, they come out to Roger Dominguez out here on the perimeter. You got the corner coming up hard on that. He had, to, you know, he had to really break to not uh, make contact with uh, Dominguez, but uh, a lot of times you see a play like that and you, uh, you got to think, watch the stop and go. Some of the crowd on their feet here for the defense. It's Jacob Salcedo looking downfield, firing, has a receiver will open. Short pass was intended for Michael Palomino. Matthew Pal Reyna back there in uh, coverage, a center fielder. If you were way back on the warning track, and you know that first down doesn't mean a whole lot to the uh, Burbank Bulldogs. The big deal is keep the Indians up here in front of you. Don't allow a big strike. Third and ten now for for the Indians. That last play was incomplete, intended for Michael Palomino. Jacob Salcedo looking, sees Dominguez across the field. Pass is caught. Dominguez across the 45, move the chains and gets to the 47 yard line. You see the Burbank Bulldogs uh, cornerbacks that drop back a full 12, 15 yards off the line of scrimmage and uh, just uh, making sure that the uh, outside receivers do not get uh, beyond them. Catch anything that you want uh, in front of me, but I'm just not gonna let you get behind. The Indians on their way up into the midfield. Salcedo looking, fires, passes, caught. Again, the defense giving them the room, allowing them to make those plays as Esparza makes the catch. Gets into Bur Burbank Bulldog territory, 47 yard line. Second down now. 
as the Indians look and left. Middle of the field, the pass caught. Great catch. Way to hang on to it as Esparza signals, helps the referees out, lets them know that that's a first down to move the chains. But again, the Indians, time is of the essence for them. On a 15 yard pickup, Salcedo. Misses the mark on that one, was trying to go back to Dominguez, but that's an incomplete pass. The positive thing on that coach, the clock will stop for just a moment. Uh, we uh, talked about uh, the objective here for the uh, Burbank Bulldog defense on the Harlandale side, on the offensive side, uh, the goal is uh, let, take what they give you, march down the field, and then uh, you know an onside kick or something to get yourself in. But don't try to don't try to take something that you're not being given right here. Really hard so, to get up over the top. Has to tuck it and run. He'll go and slide. Did he slide enough for the first down? But then that means the clock will continue to run if he didn't get the first down. So they signal a third down here. So he got to the 23 yard line. So a nine yard carry, shy of a yard. Indians gotta get into the end zone. There's no more quarters after this one. Esparza in motion. Esparza gets the handoff, cuts up, gets inside, picks up the first down. So the Indians will get a new set of downs here. And a timeout. Out will be taken, and it will be taken by Harlandale. And you got to, you got to. Are we good? Do you want to keep it here, Coach? Yeah, let's keep break? it right here. Okay. Uh, the uh, Burbank Bulldogs are setting themselves up uh, to improve to six and one in district play, and this is a big win uh, for the uh, Burbank Bulldogs if they can seal the deal on this. Uh, the, uh, the the dogs have already beaten Houston. They've already uh, beaten McCullum. They've already beaten Jefferson, and uh, tonight they look like they're in a great position to beat the uh, Harlandale Indians, and that means that they've got victories against all four of their closest competitors. So not only will they have uh, a one-game lead on on Harlandale, a two-game lead on Jefferson or McCullum, depending on the outcome of that game tomorrow, but they own victories. So any kind of uh, any kind of a tie, they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna own the head-to-head. Uh, -head. So this is a big uh, game for the uh, Burbank Bulldogs in claiming that second seed. They'll be in the driver's seat. They'll be in the driver's seat big time for that uh, second seed in the district. We got 13-5A, 13-5A D2 on the uh, first round of the playoffs, and uh, you you know certainly want to play as low down in in, in their, their seats as possible. We'll talk about that in just a second. Salcedo, with the game approaching, the pass incomplete. Palomino, the target, uh, just a little bit uh, out of reach there. But again, 14-5 uh, AD2 plays 13-5 AD2. That's uh, Vets Memorial and uh, Tyvee and Liberty Hill. And uh, we've got some great teams over there. And of course, the first place team plays fourth place. Second place plays third place. Third place plays second place. So the higher, uh, the higher seed that you have in your district, uh, you get to play a lower seed in the first round in by district play. So this is uh, this is a big play. I mean, a big uh, a, a big win for the Burbank Bulldogs if they can seal the deal. Second down and ten here for Harlandale. Jacob rolls right, fires back of the end zone, and uh, there was some contact there, but uh, no flat or no penalty is called. Pass is incomplete. Coach, that's that. This is coming up on the 16th play of the drive here for the Harlandale Indians. And if you're Burbank, you're you've been doing what you're supposed to do. Yeah, they've given up a big chunk of yards, but you you called it earlier. It makes it expensive. They're wasting a lot of time here. Using, if not wasting, but using a lot of time. It's taking them a lot of time it's, to yeah, score. Yeah, it, you know, time is of the essence here, and Indians ain't able to capitalize on this. The pass is caught. Great catch. But again, those are passes that Burbank's willing to give them. So now brings up a fourth down at what cost, right? So under a minute now. Five yard catch. Clock continues to run under 30 seconds. 
Flags on the play. Whistles will play or call this play dead. A delay of game against the defense. Hmm. And uh, that is probably um, doing the uh, doing the snap count, doing the count for uh, on the defensive side and and drawing a. Uh, Drawing hard to look like false start against Harlandale. A delay so if it's, of game a, against if it's a defense, then then that's going to be an automatic first down because that would be a five yard penalty. And I don't know that downs really matter that much here. We're under 30 well, seconds. Well, it gives them at least another yeah, chance. It gives them a chance. To, it keeps them alive in, in the go. end zone. Exactly. It keeps the game, uh, keeps the outcome of the game uh, on the on the table, if you will. Uh, of course, as the with every tick of the clock, uh, the outcome becomes more and more clear. But uh, you certainly uh, you know certainly don't want to. If you're Burbank, uh, you certainly don't want to make uh, mistakes like that and uh, give up uh, or uh, just gift uh, a fourth down conversion to the opponents. The officials visiting about this, and it's it's uh, whether it was a false start. Which, uh, we got a timeout. Oh no, no, flag. no flag. Yeah. No flag. So this will bring up a fourth down. And coach, you know, with with 30 seconds to go, it's as as the lead being two scores and it becoming a little bit more evident that it's going to be a little bit more difficult for the Indians uh, to really get back into this ball game unless they score here and get an onside kick and get the ball back, then, you know, all that is a lot to ask within 28 seconds of the game here. But uh, make sure you stay tuned for our Martinez & Associates post-game show where we try to pick a player of the game for both the offensive and defensive side. Salcedo flings it, and he'll get intercepted. That'll seal the deal, Bob, at number eight uh, for the Burbank Bulldogs uh, with the interception. Uh, Aiden Mays, a defensive back, he's a sophomore, and uh, celebrating with his uh, fellow Bulldogs over here on the sideline. So that will seal the deal. Uh, 22 seconds left to play. The Burbank Bulldogs will just have to snap the ball one time. That'll be Jacob Salcedo's fifth interception of the season. And Burbank Bulldogs came in and it meant business. They had this under control, but the Burbank Bulldogs will call a timeout. We'll take a quick break and we come back. Uh, we'll probably start that conversation about player of the game by brought to you by Martinez and Associates. Hi, I'm from your local insurance agency. So sorry to hear about your accident. Here's a check, sign this. We just signed with Martinez and Associates. <laughs> you know this isn't enough. Sign. Oh! <gasps> Come on, baby. It's a mistake to go against the auto insurance companies all alone. Just like it's a mistake to go against UTSA All-American linebacker Trey Moore. Voted the best law firm in San Antonio, three years running. Hire Martinez and Associates. You're gonna see me shine, 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 shine. Walking on beams of light, 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 light. Oh, 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 oh. We welcome you back to action here in fourth quarter. The Burbank Bulldogs are just about wrapping up their weeks of work here. And what better way to celebrate than to beat? one of the top contenders in this district as the Burbank Bulldogs are set back at their own one yard line. Hernandez will run it out of the zone end zone and he'll slide as the Burbank Bulldogs and what a, what a block there by Renee Espinosa to end the game. But uh, the Burbank Bulldogs will take care of this victory here in their own backyard and we'll take some bragging rights here in the south side between these two teams we talked about these two teams being uh one of the top three teams in the district so the burbank bulldogs 35 the harlandale indians 21 we're going to take a quick break coach and i are going to wrestle with uh who we were going to pick for the martinez and associates offensive and defensive player of the game Please keep it right here. Hi, I'm from your local insurance agency. So sorry to hear about your accident. Here's a check, sign this. We just signed with Martinez and Associates. <laughs> 
You know this isn't enough. Sign! Oh! <gasps> Come on, baby! It's a mistake to go against the auto insurance companies all alone. Just like it's a mistake to go against UTSA All-American linebacker Trey Moore. Voted the best law firm in San Antonio three years running. Hire Martinez and Associates. Y'all gonna see me shine, 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 shine. Walking on beams of The SAISD Sports uh, Complex here. Uh, we've uh, watched a great uh, football game. The Burbank Bulldogs are uh, victorious. Uh, and uh, we are in the uh, Martinez and Associates uh, post game show where we select an offensive and a defensive uh, player of the game. And uh, Bobby, uh, offense, do you have anybody in mind? Well, I offense, do. you know, it's, you know, you can look at uh, what we have here on our stat sheets or uh, what we have and what we've seen. We see Kevin Hernandez, and you know, he is the, the head of this, this snake here for uh, this Bulldog te team, and he does great things. He runs the ball great, and, you know, he can win player of the game every night, in my opinion. Uh, but I, I want to say his receiving core did a fantastic job, so I want to give my vote to uh, wide receiver, the sophomore, number five, Leo Lozano. There he is on your screen. An electric uh, play. Uh, Leo Lozano, uh, a touchdown uh, catches for 63 and 64 yards, uh, I believe, here tonight. And one of those was uh, was almost a, a lateral pass. Leo Lozano making the uh, first defender miss and uh, racing to the end zone. Only a sophomore. Of course, Kevin Hernandez gets uh, credit for that pass, but it was uh, Leo Lozano on, uh, on, uh, on that one specifically. So, Leo Lozano is our offensive player of the game. How about defense, Bob? You got anybody in mind? On defense, it took a group effort. You look at the, the way the Harlandale Indians offense had been scoring coming into this ball game. Uh, they're pretty much putting at least the least amount of points they put up uh, this season was 34, and that was to Alamo Heights um, in this district play. So, this was a very potent defense, and a defense for Burbank Bulldogs had their work cut out for him um, and uh, he's been on this show before you see him on the screen right now Ryan Vasquez uh, as he is our defensive player of the game which is brought to you by Martinez and Associates. Uh, big uh, for Ryan Vasquez and we pointed out a couple of times uh, we, cut, we, po we pointed out a couple of times uh, uh, here during the game that the Bulldogs were able to make cover or able to get pressure with a four man rush Ryan on the right side of the defense on that edge, man. He was in the backfield a bunch, and you know he's been our uh, he's been our uh, player of the game before. So a, report, a repeat performance there uh, on the field, uh, number nine, uh, Ryan Vasquez of the uh, Burbank Bulldogs. Congratulations, you are our Martinez and Associates. Uh, and you also of the saw game. saw in that shot there our very own Isaiah Castro. More than likely, you'll be seeing that photo up on our RC Audio Sports. Uh, for his recognition of Defensive Player of the Game. And congratulations to both the Martinez and Associates Players of the Game offensively again. Leo Lozano, congratulations. And Ryan Vasquez, congratulations. And before we break, Bob, uh, for our viewers uh, still listening, tomorrow uh, we will be at uh, Memorial Stadium, uh, Jefferson McCullum. That's a big one. And uh, you'll be here. You'll have a crew here at SAIC Sports Complex. It's Lanier and Highland. So uh, RC Audio Sports, uh, we're going to bring it to you. And uh, we appreciate uh, all of you joining us uh, on our streams. Yes, we thank you for joining us. And while you're here, we appreciate that you're still here for our post game. Please check into our RC Audio Sports 2 while you're on YouTube. Subscribe to that. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to our both channels. And uh, we thank you tonight for all of us here in this crew. We thank you, Isaiah Castro, Sebastian Castro, Isabella Tellez, Cesar Mendez, Coach Robert Villafranca. I am Bobby Mendez, and we thank you. Good night. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Hi, I'm from your local insurance agency. So sorry to hear about your accident. Here's a check. Sign this. We just signed with Martinez and Associates. <laughs> you know this isn't enough. Sign. Oh! <gasps> Woo! Come on, baby! It's a mistake to go against the auto insurance companies all alone. Just like it's a mistake to go against UTSA All-American linebacker Trey Moore. Voted the best law firm in San Antonio three years running. Hire Martinez and Associates.